Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the What's Good podcast. Today, we have Simon, myself, and the special guest, Rain. Nice. He's just raining and like, there's good to rain. There's a stuff. YouTuber called Rain there. Yeah, I know. I know he is. Yeah? Yeah. What's his name? Jack? No. What's his name? Norden. Oh, that Rain. I was yeah. thinking about the other Rain. Oh. Oh, fake Rain. Yeah. That was his name. Poker on player. Him. Yeah. Works as Freezy. Yeah. yeah. Played COVID with us during yeah. lockdown. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Weird throwback. Weird anyway, throwback. Uh, subscribe because we're like... 59,000 subscribers away. We're on 94,000. 941,000. <laughs> Ignore him. Yes, please subscribe. We're so close. I was like, guys, we're on 94,000. And they looked at me like, what the fuck? Are you <laughs> I, hope, I hope not. <laughs> yeah. We're but just we're, falling we're, off. We're doing well. I told you guys we needed 500 a day. Yeah. We're on like 300 a day right now. Okay, well. It's not bad. You stink. Do more. Yeah, do more. You can do better. We can all do better, really, to be honest. Well, this weekend is a big weekend. Is it? The Premier League oh my God. is back. I have not even done my uh, FPL, you know. You know how many drafts Jade has done? Yes, I, done because zero. he puts every single one in the chat. I even and I'm not even yeah. in the FPL. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You found it. I don't even know at what prices everyone is. I know that Haaland's 14 mil now and he was 13. And I know that like Trent year. is a midfielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On there. Is he? Yeah. No. Yeah. I think he's just, is he? I think so. Oh, wow. I thought he was just right back with playing mid. No, I think he's moved Goodness to Goodness gracious me. But I firstly... I don't care enough about FPL. I know. Although I am tempted to do it with you. Yeah. As in make a new oh, one. Oh, what the one, one team you, only? Yeah. Start of the season. Make, make your team. Because then, you know, it'll be. Yeah. Won't go long then. Yeah. It only takes a minute. It does. Yeah. Well, by the way, I think my auto pick team would beat JJ's team. <laughs> by the way, JJ has done so much research for this. He's yeah. watched every video. He's he's posted his team multiple times, which we've talked about on here before. And mm, is it against mm, the rules, mm, etc.? Who knows? If he doesn't, if he doesn't not lose. Yeah. Well, if he, loses, if he loses, it's really embarrassing. <laughs> it's so bad. Like, I think him losing to Tommy isn't as bad as him losing FPL. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Why well, no, I don't? And agree. then um, you have Calix in your group. Yeah. And you have Ethan. <laughs> I love how Ethan's in there as well. He's, well, he's every lost. Season. He's lost every season, hasn't he? Yeah, he, he's played. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he's down there. And he, by the way, he wouldn't if he was leaving this year until JJ and Lux joined. He yeah. continued because it would be so funny. And also, he thought that like surely I can't lose to these. But to be fair, like JJ has actually done the work, so he shouldn't lose. He shouldn't because he, he also keeps saying things in the chat that we're like everyone knows that. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He'll well, be like, "Did you guys know that there's like it's not just forty five minutes and then forty five minutes. There's extra time." Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and we'll go, far, like, yes, yeah, yeah, KSI. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no, what what was the, he put one he in the other day. so funny, man. He put um, one the other day about it. It was about a player, I think. What I can't remember it? what it was, though. It was like, did you guys know that this player used to play for this team or something? Everyone's like, yeah. Yeah. yeah the chat's delete now, so it's gone. Yeah, true. Um, he's funny, though. It's going to be exciting. It's, it's going to be very fun, though, because like, obviously he's also like, the thing is, he's excitable. So he's ex is that a word? Oh, yeah. He's, if he goes top of the league. It's he's fun though. Gonna, he makes it yeah, entertaining. He's not going to show up, but yeah, it's funny. Yeah, and every I know he's going to watch every game now, um, so it's going to be exciting. But I, I need to get my uh, arse into gear and get my team ready. But the reason Simon is saying that uh, Premier League is back is we're probably going to do our predictions. Are we going to do them early in the podcast or not? Get it out of yeah, the way or we'll do it later that. on? I think we just get it out of the way. Yeah. Well, listen, those who are watching this video and don't enjoy football or Premier League, we have Savin discussion coming soon. We have we, some weird. Yeah, we got some weird stuff. Weird stories from Jonathan. So. We're also not going to stick around on this. We're not going to. We're not going to spend ages talking about football. No, we also haven't even done it ourselves. Pre, we're going to do it no. Tonight. And now I'm doing this in the second channel video at some point. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do we go for a, a combined one or do we want our own? How did you last year, Nick? Because uh, Nick has really made one. one. <laughs> Have you done one? Uh, yeah, Joel and I have no, done one. No, we said, how are we doing? Am I doing one and he's doing one, or yeah, are we I've doing got, combined I've got one? Two here, so okay, 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 okay. All right, who's winning the league? Man City. Yeah, I mean, like... Okay, we're both... I'm City, yeah. City, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so this one, Simons? Yeah, sure. We're yeah. both saying City win the league. Mm -hmm. Now, the next, like, six positions. Can I also point out, by the way, I'm fairly confident... I might, I might be an idiot here. It's top five this season. Because of West Ham or something? <laughs> I don't know. This is not pitch side, by the way, guys. But it is... Is it not? What? I don't know. Top five. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me what, a sec. Another one going into the Champions League. I think so. On good behaviour, right? Isn't because like the Champions League does change next year. Like not I think this it's season, but the season after. But no, I don't think so. I'm finding out. I read that like England is just like they love us in the league, so they want us. <laughs> well, who's taking second for you? Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let me think. Whoever we say, by the way, we're gonna get hate, so it doesn't matter. Oh no. I'm, yeah. I'm not so gonna hate. Fuck you everyone all. listening to this, that's gonna sit there and go, "Oh, how can you think that Forest are gonna win the league?" 
Shut up. Yeah, exactly. But that exactly. one, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, second place. So we have Arsenal. We've got United. Liverpool, I still think, aren't there yet. Liverpool, Chelsea, Chelsea Arsenal, could be unreal. They like, could be unreal. Tottenham, Newcastle. I'm going to go Manchester United. Same. You're going to go as well. Yeah. Oh, and I now want to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick clapped because <laughs> he's a United fan. <laughs> yeah, United. I'm putting United there too. I'm still going to go Arsenal third. Same. Yeah, yeah, I just... but, uh, on the way here, I knew we were doing predictions. Yeah. So I was like, I'll think of my like top three or four. Yeah. Do, do and that was all I had. Do you just want to do a joint one then? No, because we'll differentiate. Well, at some point, we'll just, yeah, just keep. Okay. Yeah. Fourth, this one I reckon we differ. Okay, go, you go. I'm gonna chuck Chelsea there. Don't say same. I was gonna do same. No, you actually. I actually. Won. Oh my god, we're so cute. It, yeah, we're so cute. I could change it though. No, no, no. no. Do you, yeah, you got to do what I, you I, think? Because I think that like I think their team has got enough to like actually destroy the league, but they're gonna take a bit of time to gel, and yeah. also they could also flop so badly. The players. So to clear up. Yeah. In twenty four season twenty four twenty five. Yeah. It's changing from thirty two to thirty six teams. So next season will be the team the year that there's five Champions League spots. So not this year. No, this year. They used to twenty four, twenty five. Yeah, that's when there's that's when the Champions League will change. Oh, so the year before oh, has to be the year yeah. where five teams go in. Yeah, but are they not going from other leagues? Yeah, I think. Well, that's I, why there's one from here. I read something about England. Just it's going four loved. extra teams, so spots are available for certain leagues based on history and league points. Currently, the Premier and La Liga are going to get the extra spot. I have a sort man of, on the ground. Yeah, his name is uh, Pablo Enrique. It's Ziv. Oh, sorry, it's Ziv. <laughs> oh, I know, do I know who that is? It's Viz backwards. <laughs> I feel like I've seen some Don on Twitter called Ziv. Oh no, I just texted Viz because he was the one that told me this yesterday. Nice, nice. I was like, I have to look smart, please. Is Viz good at Valorant? He's all right. What's Sorry, it? we were talking about Valorant before this, by the way. <laughs> Randall hasn't just said that out. Uh, okay, fifth, fifth in this. Okay, this is where it gets a bit sticky. Who are you saying? Uh, I, well, I can tell you who it's between. Who's it between? Liverpool. Spurs, Newcastle. Who have I missed? Have I missed anyone big here? Maybe Villa. Yeah, but I think no. But yeah. Fair. I I'm going to go, personally, if I can go. Yep. I'm going to go Ugh, Liverpool. Okay. I'm, and then what? And then who? I'm going to Liverpool. Because you're going to put those, you're going to yeah. put Newcastle. Liverpool, in. Newcastle, Spurs. In that order. Okay. I'm, I'm going to, Copy it, but swap Newcastle. I'm going to go Newcastle, Liverpool, Villa. Okay. Then I'm going to put Spurs. Oh, stinky Spurs, eh? Um, honestly, I have no idea about anything else. Spurs this. badge is so annoying. It's so dark. I know. Yeah. I, see it, but yeah. I have no idea about anything after this. So I'm just going to say, who, who do you reckon is going to get relegated? Okay. Well, I'm going to go bottom. I'm going to go um, Sheffield United. Okay. Well, he froze. <laughs> he just froze for a second. Well, that's this is my list. Oh. Yeah. Who else? Then I'm going to go Luton Town. Uh, above them now. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to go... Ooh. Bournemouth. Ah. Uh, <laughs> You're going to end up on their TikTok. <laughs> I know. I, I, I listen, but listen, I, I can't put Forest there. By the way, Forest have not signed many players. We signed a Langer, you know. Okay. Three United, yeah. yeah. Um, Do you want me to go? Yeah, you, you go. You, you go. can go. think. Are you, right. are you agreeing with Sheffield United and Luton? Can we? Can we? Yeah, go on mine. I'm a screw. It. I'll leave them there. Hold on. This is this is yours, right? Yeah. yeah. This is yours. Just just because you know to get this over and done with. I'm just gonna go first thing that comes to my head. I'm gonna go 19th, Everton. Wow! Yeah, fuck no them. Way. Fuck them, man. Okay, okay. I hate them. Not again, though. And then Luton, eighteenth. Okay. Uh. Then I'm gonna go Forest. Nice, thanks, though. Thanks. Then in front of them, we have Burnley. Then Wolves in front of them. Uh, Bournemouth in front of them. Sorry, I'm just I'm what well, I have no idea. <laughs> go for it, go for the other thing, the other and thing. then, you know what? That order exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So them, Brighton. Little autofill thing going on. Yeah. Just you know, you got to. Sometimes you just got to agree with the AI. Yeah. Yeah. That is my order. 
Okay, I don't mind. It, if you, but anyway, putting effort in there actually helps you out so much. I know. Like, that first part's really hard. <laughs> I just did it. To, I yeah. just did it to make it easier for me. All right, let's go with me. I'm not going to do Everton. Did I do Bournemouth there? I don't want to do Bournemouth there. Wolves, West Ham, Palace, Fulham. This is a hard league. I know. You know, honestly, I really think Forest are going to be that one. <laughs> uh, do it. No, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, I can leave Bournemouth there for now. I'll do Forest next. I, do, I think Forest 17th. Then I'm going to go... You could work from the top if you wanted. Yeah, well, we'll put put Villa up there. Put Villa after Spurs for me. Okay. And then after Spurs, so after Villa, we're going to go with Brentford, Brighton. Mm, okay. Well, he's cooking now. Yeah, now I'm cooking. Uh, Fulham. Okay. Cooking. West Ham. Oh. <laughs> Palace. Oh. Everton. Yeah. Then Wolves. Then Burnley. Then Forest. Then Forest. But I might like swap that. Hold on. This is so funny, by the way, because like everyone else's predictions are all like, I think this reason why. Oh, yeah. We're just like. I have no bad. <laughs> the middle section for me was. I'm just looking at the badges. Yeah. I don't, I don't know who they've signed. I'm just going based on last year. And like, I'm basing it off my 1999 sticker book. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, West Ham didn't, didn't do very well last year, but they're going to do a bit better this year. Yeah. Brentford did all right last year, so they'll do all right again. Yeah. I think Arsenal are going to sign Rea though, right? Apparently. Yeah. He's a good keeper. Uh, I can't, I don't think I want to put Bournemouth there though. I think Burnley are going to do better. Fuck it. Put Wolves there. Put, swap Wolves and... Put Bournemouth to the end or... Sw- put Wolves where, in the relegation, sorry. And yeah. put Bournemouth above Forest, one above Forest. Because I think Burnley can do all right. Okay. Looking at him. Yeah, why not? Okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> there it is. Me and Randolph have a £100 bet on. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever gets more points wins. Can you bet on the int- this table with like, the yeah. cookies? I might yeah. do that. But it's... Mm. I mean, I'd put £1 on. Yeah. And you'll probably win like 400 grand or something like that. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Like, my predictions that Pie Face has done a prediction. Yeah. And is getting heat. Is he? He put Tottenham third. <laughs> and uh, I think he put Tottenham third. Maybe second. I don't know. But yeah, it's. Uh, if they lose Harry Kane, then what are they going to do then? It's not a nice place to, to. It's not a nice thing to do. You People guys, are very you guys are so mean, man. So what's so this? Mean. This is yours. This is Nick's. We have Joel's, Joel's, and mine together. Yeah. No, it's different. So this is this one. This one is uh, editor Joel's. Okay, so this has got the same Joel. bottom three as me. Right, it changed. It's, it's, Wait, oh, that's different. Yeah. Oh, okay. United, Liverpool, Arsenal. I've been saying for a while that I think Arsenal will get fourth, but I changed my mind while we were doing it. They could cook. Arsenal could cook, but like, I just feel like they're not going to have the same season like last year. I they, feel they like this momentum. is pretty similar, except he's put Chelsea Burnley fifth. Wolves. Okay, nice. Wow, you put Forest High. Respect, okay. Nick, respect. No, that's, no, that's Joel's. Oh. And then we have Oh, Nick. well, fuck you then, Nick. <laughs> Let's see Nick's. <laughs> he's called it. Oh. oh the, the wrong one. Sorry, give me a sec. Nah, f- what? He put you bottom. What the fuck? <laughs> wait, is that because? Wait, 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 no, 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 no. Do you believe that? No, 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 no. Randolph, Randolph, Randolph. Look who win the league. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know what? Uh, no, no, there's no way it happens. Yeah. Do you think it happens? Honestly. He's a Man United fan. No, 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 but, clear up. Yeah, but like outside of your bias. He's, you bro, happen? he's put City third. Third? Yeah, they're, they're going to be tired this year. Yeah? Yeah. Judge, okay. Judge me on my trophies. They'll find- Newcastle, like, ninth as well. Newcastle. Wow, you think Newcastle going to have a Hoona? Fair mm. enough. Uh, it's a Hoona. You'd put Burnley above Newcastle. Burnley, yeah. Okay. And well, Burnley, right, but like... Villa, that low? Yeah. Okay. Well, as we said, we have no idea what we're talking about. Neither does he. Go watch pitch well, side. I've sent, I've, I've sent You've sent yours. Oh, John. John has done one. And just John. to clear this up, John doesn't know anything. John, name three players in the Premier League. Uh, oh, I see. I know Haaland. Well, it's because I listen to you guys all the time. Okay, okay Haaland. Do, do them. Do them. Uh... Fuck, Paquetta. Uh, okay. <laughs> he plays for West Ham, right? I, yeah. I, I, I apparently support West Ham. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Haaland, Paquetta. Uh, shit. No, Ke- I definitely know one more. Kevin Nolan is going to say. <laughs> oh, Antonio. He plays for West Ham as well. Okay. Nice. Nice. Oh, I got it. What a weird three. <laughs> Real oh, I've is got on vibes. I've got on vibes. Have low you low. seen his? Wait, why are you shaking your head? I don't want to show you. Oh, come, come, I've come, gone come. on vibes and logos. Okay, yeah, as we said, John, John's is... You know what? John could win based purely on he might get like 13th correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 14th correct. Yeah, he's got 20th right for sure. Oh, fuck off. (laughs) Okay, okay, okay. City winning the league. He's not even done it right. I've done it right. You put four four teams in 18th, 19th, and 20th. 
It doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Like, Point okay. me second. Just to clear up. Okay, hold Chelsea, on. Chelsea, Liverpool, Tottenham, United are all bottom half. <laughs> Easy. And Villa. Yeah, it's, it's an upside nah, down. No, you didn't too. try. You didn't even try, man. Luton. I didn't try. I went on vibes, so look. Jeez, no, no, but you, Luton, you know, you, Sheffield United getting Europa, yeah, you know. They've got a cool logo, though. Doesn't matter, but you know Liverpool's not going to come like... They've got a cool logo. That could motivate me. No, you could have well, tried. Well, congrats on Burnley getting second. No, yeah, that's huge. Second, right? See, I, the, I, I read this on Reddit, right? Okay. Burnley, and I was talking to Nick earlier, their manager used to work for uh, uh, Pep Guardiola. So did Arteta. So did Arsenal. Yeah, it? exactly. And that's why they're up there as well. Yeah, but Arsenal are Arsenal, and Burnley are Burnley. Like, even, you know... Nah, like, even if Pep... good management, you can do anything. That's true. So why can't you do anything? <laughs> why is this podcast so... <laughs> <laughs> <That's why. laughs> well... That is our predictions. Yeah. Stinkers. Yeah. We don't care. Next thing. <laughs> oh, the injury. Oh, oh no, yeah, staying say? on football. No, staying okay, on football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Hold on. Marcelo. Before, before if, we, okay, we probably can't play this on YouTube, by the way. No, so but if I'm you want to see it, just search Marcelo tackle. And I haven't seen this yet. Wait, wait, hold on. Give me a little chance to protect myself. It's also got to be full screen. You don't get to see it until the end. So I, I know, I know. But let me intro it first. This is it. Marcelo's tackle. I haven't seen it yet. Everyone's been saying it's gross. I have seen it. The thing is, it's not gross in terms of intent. No, yeah, apparently it was There's no red. malicious intent. Apparently it wasn't oh, even a red. No, yeah, That's what I'm saying intent, is yeah. it's not it's not disgusting in that way. It's just, it's so, oh, it's so okay, bad. It's like I you hate, can I see immediately, you. he knows. Run that. What are these things? Look, ready? Uh, Fluminies. He's oh, oh, takes it in between two. Jeez. Okay, I saw. I saw. Look, he okay. immediately stops. He kicks the ball and he's, yeah. Can't, I hate oh, his, it's so. I, hate uh, his task uh, I know okay. what's coming. I saw it this morning on TikTok and I don't. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. You know, it's bad when people in the chat are like, that's gross. Oh. Suspense is actually killing me. Oh my god, he's crying. Who's ARG though? Hmm? Who's ARG? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who plays Clem for him. No. Fuck off, John. Oh. Got the stretcher on. Then they really there you it. go. Oh! oh the, the worst part is the bit afterwards. We're actually this angle. It's this angle. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? When he yeah. like gets up or when he tries to get up, it's like Oh, that's so bad. Uh, that's the thing bad. I feel I don't sorry, but... I don't feel sorry for Marcelo. I do, because he didn't mean it. And I think that's gonna really like affect him mentally. But it's the fact he then gets a red card. Fair. But it's the fact he's like he's the one that stops play, kicks the ball out, and he's yeah, like yeah, yeah, stretcher yeah, quick, yeah. quick. Yeah. And then the ref's like sorry, bro. <laughs> I have to do it. For the for the, in, Yeah. Yeah. And I think he even looks at him kind of like, oh, what? Like, a red? I didn't do much. No. I guess, but I think if it's just not a red, it shouldn't be a red. But at the same time, like, if the guy has That's like, a red. Like, yeah, I guess. Oh. If you ever break someone's leg, it's, it has to ah, be a red. true. Okay. So, for reference, again, as someone doesn't know about football, oh. say something like that happens, do players have contracts with teams that, like, pay them going forward now that their career has ended? Is there some kind of thing? No, in you, place? Still have, you still have a contract. So, it's like yeah. he'll go and get recovered. And until his contract expires, he'll still be a player. Yeah, you just have to hope that his contract's for another four years. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then that, but obviously, like, if he gets free in January, <laughs> if they say, "Oh, you can never play again," I'm sure that it has to. There probably is something in the contract that avoids it. But it's like if yeah. you can recover, then obviously you can still play. It's like well, I mean, I mean, yeah, players get exiled for months, years, and still come back. You know, exiled. Well, like <laughs> like uh, no, play, you have to go and uh, train with the reserves. Yeah. You're technically not playing ever again, but you're still getting paid by the club. Well, Eduardo came back, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. But then also like Balotelli, who's like got ex exiled for discipline <laughs> yeah. reasons, still getting paid. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then also you got to remember, like if you're a player not getting paid, then, then you're not playing. So then your value is going to drop, not get signed by someone else. Did, you ever, see the, did you ever see the Eduardo one? Uh, Let's do it. Why don't, why don't we do it while we're here? Completely snapped. Yeah. I may have seen that, yeah. Around the shin, his legs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eduardo. Yeah. I'm thinking of Reyes. No, it was Eduardo. Yeah, no, I'm thinking right. of the Reyes one. I don't... What was the Reyes one? When he was an uh, Arsenal player. Oh, is this him? Yeah. No, it's not him. This is Eduardo when he played for Arsenal. I'm not sure if his name was Eduardo or Reyes. It's Jose no, Antonio, that's right? Jose, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Antonio Reyes. Intent. That one, he's gone in. Like, you got to remember, Marcelo had the ball and he's dribbled round the guy. Whereas this one, he's gone in for a tackle. So it was Arsenal players, man. What, how one moment killed a career. Good video, that is. Good thumbnail. Is. Right? Yeah. He He was on... The beers when we were in Croatia. Like hey, he man. was actually on Eduardo was on the front of beers. Oh, oh, yeah. so he's in, he's he was on such the, a on hero. The piss. No, 
Does it show a replay? Croatia looks like a good holiday, man. I don't think it shows it. I was going to say, it's probably age restricted. So it's, that second one looks like it shows it. Yeah. Oh, this one is so bad. Yeah, look where he's like... Uh, yeah, you see his ankle still, yeah. and it's still out. Oh, Hashtag rank. I, I remember this. <laughs> Do you know why I remember this? <laughs> this was in newspapers. This, the picture of his dangling yeah. ankle was on the newspaper. Dangling ankle. Yeah. So yeah, it, like, you can come back from it, and obviously, I, well, I hope it's good, but... I hope it's good. Argentinos Juniors yeah. was the team. Yeah, last time I checked, Marcelo was like 40 years old. Can we get a Google on that? How old is he? Guess. Has to be 39. I was going to say 39. No way he's younger than 39. Who? Eduardo. No, Marcelo. Oh, Marcelo. No, I'm going to go 38. I think 42. <gasps> no way. There's no way. 35. 35? Huh? Yeah. Hey, you have to respect Ronaldo. I know. That's so what I, yeah, much. Yeah, Messi, to be fair, as well. He's still 36. And Messi as well. But like, yeah. Ronaldo, yeah. yeah. I, I think Ronaldo is changing our concept of, like, age. Yeah. Players. Because now you see someone like Marcelo and you're like, yeah, he's 42. Whereas back in the day, you would have said- 35. Because you remember when there was an old player in a team? Yeah. Like when you saw Thomas Graveson. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, yeah, he's definitely like 33. <laughs> Charlie Adams. Yeah. <laughs> but but Charlie Adams were... looked 40 when he was 28. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but an old player then yeah. was 33. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. that yeah. was it. Unless you're a goalkeeper. Mate, well, I mean, Joe Rogan. You know how old Joe Rogan is? 48. Pull up Joe Rogan. Like, put, show I have no idea. As well. this, John knows his birthday, 100%. You know, I, 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 I don't know, know his age. I, I know he's in, he's in his 50s. Is he? Yeah. He's in his 50s. Yeah. Young Wait, 50s, he, though, because that's a 48. I think he might be late 50s now. I think he meant pull up his age. He is exactly age. 55. Oh, 55. 55? Yeah. What do you mean? He's not exactly 55. Is it? Is it? Oh, you've excited me there. Oh, it's, uh, it's not far off. It's close. Wait, hold on. When's this coming out? Uh, this might come out. No, I know. It'll come out on the 9th. It's his birthday in two days. Damn. So he is almost exactly 55. Oh, 56. Oh, 56. Yeah. But like, but like, he's just super energetic. He also does like inject himself with stem cells. He, he's also on the uh, carnivore diet. So he only eats meat. So oh, yeah. now. Like, but, but anyway, yeah, like point is like, like dick. point is these days. If, Sorry. Is that a good diet? Don't know. Never tried it. John? Uh, yes. Uh, really <laughs> full of protein. Nice. You know why he's calling you that, John? Yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, why, Randy? I won't say. Um, but like, no, I mean, Coming from me, I don't, I don't really work out. But I'm going to start. Said, I have been recently. You said that Ronaldo's changing like age for you. Would you though train and live like Ronaldo no. to be that standard when you're his age? No, if I no, no, because I'm almost there. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> he's a monster. He's a monster, but in a, you know, respectfully though. I see so many TikToks now of Ronaldo, about Ronaldo and like, obviously like how hard he works and stuff. And I never know whether some of them are just taking the piss because some of them I see and I'm like, that's amazing. And then I'll see other comments being like, lol, people that believe this. Yeah. Like there's one that was like, he had an injury that should have put most people out for three months. He was back at training the next day. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's like, I don't know if I can believe it. No, but at like, the same time, it's Ronaldo Sui. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> true. He works hard, but like how, you know. Yeah. Um, but I'm boiling. Are you? Yeah. Can Turn you the like, aircon on. Yeah, just like a little bit. A little, like it doesn't have to be cold. A little but I'm wearing joggers. I actually been wearing shorts all the time recently, but I have them washing. So oh. I mean, I haven't got my, got my hair. I literally... Living like a slob. Yeah, but I literally got back like two days ago and I went straight to the hospital and I haven't really been living. I'm like a little... Um, should probably be in that hospital then. Probably should be. If you're not living. Because of morphine. I meant the more the morgue. Oh, the dead. Yeah, because I said I'm not living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah but I need to get that back to my routine. We tried. Well. Why, why do you, every podcast has got AI related stuff to get Randy stiff? Is no, that like that's a new the thing same now? one. Oh. It's oh, the same oh. one. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we did it because it's the same day. We just kept saying it. The other oh, thing really? we have is we didn't talk about last week's Sidemen Sunday. Oh, I'm so, so excited. We're what talking about this out? week. It comes out uh, Saturday. Fuck off. Yeah. Why are you changing it? Because bored. Real Sidemen fans know that Saturday's the best day, actually. Why? More Sidemen Saturday. True. We upload on Monday, Wednesday, Friday sometimes. Yeah, I've been killing it still, right? Yeah. That channel's not gone on fire. Yeah. yeah. But I always see it's so funny. Ideas. It's so funny seeing the arguments between the two. Where it's just like, more Sidemen so much better than the main channel. Yeah, but it doesn't exist without the main channel. Mm. It's just like arguments between fans. It's funny. And then you get Simon React chilling over there like, what's good? <laughs> yeah, we're just a bystander. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we uploaded this week will be the smallest versus biggest road trip. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. So, so we who, split into three teams, yeah. which this is funny, right? Because we go... We go to Brighton to start video because yeah. we're like, we don't want to drive through London, a bit boring. Traffic and stuff. Yeah, we're like, let's start somewhere Twenty mile an hour. where we don't start normally. Yeah. Brighton. And mm -hmm. we'll drive from there to... Wigan. 
Margate. Margate. Oh, yeah, nearly. And um, we get there and we're all sat down waiting for everyone to arrive. And you guys one don't by know one. who's going to drive what yet? We have no idea. We don't know the teams. We don't know what. Okay. But we sit down and we're all like, we're doing two teams for this, right? Like biggest versus smallest. And everyone's like, yeah. And we all go, yeah, I love when there's two teams. It's just there's so three much. Three teams. I know this somehow. Well, we went out and Josh is like, oh, no, there's three teams. And we went, oh. The whole of the BTS is just us talking shit about how much we love two teams. <laughs> and like, all we want is two teams because it makes the video so much better. Yeah. But we end up doing three teams and we have, we get literally, we went straight along the coast. You can do that? Yeah. You can just drag that? Yeah, you, that's been around for years. No. Yeah. This is the best feeling I've ever had in my life. You're a boomer. <laughs> but you can just drag yes. any... What? You drag those points. You see the the white dot. That's sick. No. I thought you could. I thought Google gives you like three options, like this one, this one, this one. You can just customize it like that. So yeah, we had smallest, mid, and biggest. Yeah, and, and and like big with lorries and stuff, right? Well, so I was with Harry. Yep. Vic and Toby, okay. and then JJ and Ethan. Okay, good good teams. Yeah, JJ and Ethan were mid. It is in like. Mid cars or just mid in general? But who knows? And then uh, Vic and Toby, the smallest two, were in the big ones. Nice. Me and Harry, smallest. Wow. And we got these tiny envelopes. And, and like you're, you're, you're tall to get into a small car and Harry's just ripped. Yeah, he's just fucking- Can't get this guy in so the car. So fucking huge, yeah, his muscles yeah. are mad. Yeah. So we go into this underground car park and we straight away see a bubble car. Uh, like- Can I know what this is? It's called, it's called a Trojan. Oh, yeah. Like the condom, oh, I wasn't but the that. exact opposite size. I was thinking more of this historical story where they put a Trojan horse through. Oh, I mean, kind of was like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got in it, if that counts. Yeah. This car, it's it's always awkward when we had the owners of the car there because oh, they no. love it and it's like a vintage car. So yeah, they're you sat have to there. film a video, be funny. And what you, what you want to say is look at this piece of shit. Yeah. And they're like, that. that's my car. Oh my God. There's Three one wheel at the back. <laughs> oh no, man. And the way you get in, by the way, that's the handle. <laughs> So you have to lift that out. Nah. Then the driver has to get in first. The next person gets in and you have to pull the door I wouldn't, closed. I wouldn't even be able to do that video. I wouldn't Why? get in there. You would. Well, whoever's next to me would have a bad time. Nah, it was actually quite spacious. Oh yeah. But no seat belts because yeah. the car doesn't require them because it doesn't go fast enough. Yeah. Um, we also oh get in. Yeah, gosh. It's just like a couch in there. But we get in and Harry, Harry doesn't really like driving in England. So it's on me. So I drive it, the gears don't work. Like, they barely work. By the way, I was scared enough when, you know when you took and your it's car- it's on the right as well, by the way. Everything's no. on the right, which is weird. You took your smart car to get wrapped for something and I came with you and that drive back was awful. Yeah. So imagine what, that was a smart car. They said about this, they go straight away, they go, don't go over 40 miles an hour. Can you? And then I said, <laughs> oh, don't worry, we'll, we won't. He went, well, yeah, you can't, but <laughs> it will start making then, noise. Bro. We don't get over 30. No way. Josh has organized an hour and a half drive for us oh my. on normal roads, where, which are 60. Seven miles out if you want to. Yeah, get, yeah, yeah. So Full we end train. up working out that it would take us four and a half hours to do it in pain. It, yeah. And then we do probably, we probably do about an hour and we've made it no distance. And the car overheats, none of the gears work. No so way. we pull over, wait for a minute, go again, gears stop working, pull over. We phone them, they come have a look. And JJ, at a random time, no like completely way. random, JJ and Ethan just drive past no with Deji in their car. Oh my and they've got a black cab. Their car is a black cab. Wow. Ethan, Ethan's driving. Wait, so JJ's in the passenger or they're both in the back? The Deji. JJ and Deji are in the back. Nice. And so JJ should get a cab journey. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So we basically say to them, like, look, our car ain't working. Oh. Can we have a lift? Yeah. So we, they stop at a pub. We drive it for the next 15 minutes to get to them. Get in their car. Nice. And then we realize Josh is like, oh, you have a, you have a time limit yeah. kind of thing. You need to be here and they need to be here. So we're just going to put you in the back of a, like a normal van. Yeah. Go there. It's a golf club. We think Josh has niced us. He sent us to a golf club to pick up a Reliant Robin. Oh my gosh. Which I don't fit in. <laughs> no. I so I physically can't drive it. Yeah. Like I genuinely can't drive it's it. It's an iconic car though, right? Yeah. As in it, the seats don't go back. So I'm sat. Oh Okay, this is the uh, only, only Fools and Horses car, right? I'm sat with my legs up. So the steering wheel goes down between my legs and I can't move my foot from here to the brake. Mm -hmm. So the only way, if we had to stop suddenly, I can't. Like, yeah, so how you I drove? have to go like this, like that, like yeah. underneath. So yeah. Harry had to drive it. Yeah, I'm lucky, mate. Um, he ended up doing it for ages and loved it. He's a good driver. And we also got the smallest train, 
smallest railway in England. Wow. And went through the only desert in England. That sounds fun. Yeah, it was actually you know really lovely. I might, I might watch the video. Yeah. It sounds like a banger. Well, that was our side. Yeah. So then the team, the the uh, the black cab team. Yes. Went into a Lightning McQueen. Yeah. Who t- Did you tell me about this or did you con? Well, it was my team. Yeah, that was the team I was on. Ah, okay. Yeah. That they complained sick. about that one though, right? Well, they uh, didn't like the it. Lightning, no complaint, the but they didn't McQueen like it. Lightning McQueen only went, I think, 50 miles an hour max. It's yeah. not, that's not lightning. I thought it was, yeah. <laughs> he was not fast. No. What wow. a fraud. When Imagine being, being able to go 50, 40, 50 miles an hour though. Our car hit 30 and mm. started braking. I guess that is midpoint between, Yeah. well. And then the other team started in the back of a lorry. They didn't drive the lorry. No. You can't, right? Is it, is that why? Yeah. Well, they were in the back. They were well, in yeah. the back the of the lorry. The middle team also picked up Deju. Yeah, we said that. Oh, apologies. Are you <laughs> in this room? Then I'm they also had, joking, by the way. what else did they had? They had a, a Hummer. Ooh. Yep. And something else I don't remember. But yeah, the whole video, it was a very good video. I think it'll be a really good video. It was just annoying that ours was like, as as much as I didn't want the car to get destroyed because of the owners being there, mm-hmm. I wish that our breakdown was more something. Epic. Because yeah. it literally was just overheating. Yeah. So nothing really happened. You'd rather a wheel fall off, you know? Yeah. Or like the door doesn't open or close or something. Yeah. Or you, yeah. you close the door and it just goes boop and falls off. Yeah. Yeah. Or like we tip it. Mm. Something How like many Pikachu could you get in... That little one. How big is a Pikachu? I'm not sure, but you poke one. You didn't say how would you get them on. <laughs> yeah. You just, just said how many Pikachu could you get on? <laughs> Try my best. <laughs> but I don't succeed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Good video though. Good video. Just out of 10 ways. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite joke. God, I hope it does well. What's the title? Like big versus mini versus... Sidemen, smallest versus biggest road trip or something like that. You guys always put Savin in, right? Yeah. Oh, we I almost didn't in the 20 v one though. Because because Tana, Tanya, Tan, Tana, Tana. No, <laughs> we just I love that intro that video. <laughs> Harry's like Tana, Tana, Mongo, Mongu. It's like I don't know how to say it, but she's in it. Is it banging? Ah, huh. it's done well. Yeah, yeah. It's. I think it's a good Wheel video. Wheel of Fortune, nice. But the comments on the t- uh, 20v1 though, yeah, they were the same as like the Deji diss track ones. They've they've kind of been filtered out a little what bit. What were the Not- Deji diss track ones? So it's stuff like, um, this bangs on mute. <laughs> oh, his new one. It's okay, like, we yeah. ain't making out the hood with this one. <laughs> the best one we saw. TikTok comments essentially. The best one was, this is one of the Sidemen videos of all time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that one. Oh, <laughs> favorite, on TikTok, when, when any of our podcasts it's like, oh, this is my favorite podcast. Oh, no. This is the most podcast of all time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah those. What I love, love the most is on YouTube videos now, I keep seeing trends. It happens on our podcast as well, where it's like uh, only people who don't go on TikTok can like this comment. And I'm like, that is just a TikTok comment. It's yeah. a TikTok-esque comment on yeah. YouTube, you know? Yeah, a lot of people hated this video before it came out. Because it's not, because it's Tanner. Tana. Yeah, well, and then they, out, people who watched it actually really liked it. I reckon the people who make those comments about not enjoying this video are the same people who don't like women's football. Sexists? Yep. Nice. Yep. Okay. I don't know where to go with that. <laughs> I saw a clip of uh, that short Donny, the short guy, and he's like, uh, and Ethan's like, "Wow, he's short." And then Harry's like, "Oh, funny fire." <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I know you've all seen that. I just <laughs> I was it. there. I also uh, saw a clip, by the way, on Sidecast. I don't know if you're on this. I wanted to ask you of um, of. Harry talking about going to the gym to do a calis- calisthenics workout. Calisthenic. Yeah, that's Cal- the one. And the, the, the instructor didn't turn up, so he couldn't do it. And Vic's like, wait, surely that's your worst nightmare, going to like going to a workout session on your own and meeting random people. And Harry's like, well, no, because it's, like, it's a class and you know, I'm working out. And Vic's like, yeah, but you hate, you hate talking to people. What if someone came up and talked to you? And Harry's like, yeah, I'm... I, He's like, I don't mind talking to people. I'm not a complete, like, <laughs> he just likes loud areas. He's, he's still a human. It's not yeah, human. Yeah, but it's one, of those, it's one of those things that he's now got the stigma of, like, Harry hates people. Yeah. Like, he can't talk to another person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it just, it always escalates. Yeah, he's not that escalates. awkward. He, like, yeah. he is awkward, but not that, like, you know. Well, it's just depending on what, like, if Harry's there for a purpose, he's not awkward at all. Yeah. He could, or yeah. if he knows you, or he's, he's not awkward. he's chosen to be in that environment. Yeah. It's just when you put Harry in a situation where it's someone he he has no interest in talking to. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be yeah. a very awkward conversation. Yeah, which is fine. I mean, a lot of us are like that. Yeah. A lot, a lot of us are like that, we don't admit it. So it's like, you know, yeah. whereas he just doesn't mind saying, I don't want to be here. Um, he went to no. ping pong tournaments on his own, didn't he? Yeah, he went to table tennis club. 
fucking nerd, man. But he's <laughs> really, really good. Nerdy. I loved it, by the way, at the Stag Do. Uh, Vic Stag Do, when like all the Australian, well, I say the Australian boys, like two Australians, yeah, two Canadians. Yeah, when they're like, oh, let's play, um, let's play table tennis and we'll put some money on the line. And Harry's face, he just like gives everyone the eyes and he goes, I'll play. <laughs> Knowing it's going to fuck them up. Yeah, but he stopped after like one game. Too powerful. And I think he. I think he might have won one, then lost one. Oh, I think he played two. Oh shit! Is that okay? Like, let, let me not put, like ten. Because they were quite on. good. And Harry, yeah. as good as Harry is, I think he's really good if you have actual, the oh. actual, an actual table and bats and stuff. Yeah, he was saying these bats aren't like his ones yeah. at home, which so that he, makes sense. Yeah. yeah, and you're playing outdoors, so there's wind. Bro, I played top golf recently. I couldn't believe how bad the the clubs were. They're so bad. I, I, but they wobble. But can you really not believe it? Yeah, because I thought Top Golf was like I thought obviously it's fun and games, there's food there, but I also thought people go there to use a driving range, which they do, but they take their own clubs. Yeah. But I still thought that's Top Golf is a worldwide like, it's in America, it's in UK, it's everywhere. I thought yeah. surely they can just get better clubs. They can, but you may have just got a bad set. Yeah, or maybe they get damaged. But I'm not joking. They literally so I used using driver, that was fine ish. Uh the irons wobbled. So every time I like went to swing, I could feel it like bend. <laughs> Maybe you're, just, maybe you're just really powerful. I think I'm just too good at the game. Yeah. <laughs> they had to nerf you. Yeah, I think I, need to, I, need to, I might need to quit golf. Yeah. But by the way, it isn't like I heard in the chat, you guys did a Simon video. Yes. Where golf was involved. Yeah. I won't say much more. Yeah. And apparently what I heard is that he hit the ball. Who's he? JJ. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Kessler hit the ball, sent it miles and went, oh, I get it now. He didn't even hit it. Oh. It was, he literally stepped foot on the course <laughs> and was there like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Fully get it now. <laughs> so now, literally, in our group, all we need is Toby, and we've got the whole squad. So, I said to Toby about, like, we brought up golf in the chat, and I said, like, yeah, Toby's the only one now. Yeah. He went, I never said I didn't like golf. I mean, bro, when we talked about golf, he literally, he tweeted yeah. out saying, I need to find new mates that want to do something, because they're all, they just play golf Yeah, now. On, on threads, right? Yeah. He was <laughs> like, oh, I need to find some mates to do some activities with all the mandem are on golf. Yeah. And then everyone replied like, oh, just play golf. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Because imagine, because I also, I know obviously the, the lads, the lads golf holiday is very like common and over you done, I guess. But at the same time, you get to go to sick resorts. They're actually like unreal. I know. I've seen, yeah. I've been looking at them. Yeah. Yeah. There's like 12 <laughs> golf courses on the property and just drinks and meals. It's like a perfect trip for us. Yeah. Because like, also we're getting a bit old now. So like, you know, clubs on every night is not necessarily the vibe. Well, that's why I came up with this idea. Yeah. I said, why don't we, we do troops meals oh, yeah. and they've died. Yeah, troops yeah. meals have gone. So I said, why don't we do, my original idea was we have 10 troops, <laughs> 10 times a year. So once every month or just over a month, we do a trip, two day trip and we take it in turns to plan it like a video. Yep. Cause I How realized like, it? well, that would be 10 in a year. Yep. Yeah. Great. Then Ethan was like, oh, we've got, you know, we, everyone's got commitments so i can't mm. just disappear every like once a month so True. i said okay let's do five yeah and we go in pairs me and you for example yeah, yeah good. we plan it like a sidemen video but just the good team yeah and yeah we're like yeah, right imagine. so we just go <laughs> no right, video but all the troops are gonna teams. do that because yeah. we do such sick stuff on the sidemen trips that i'm like why don't we ever do this as a holiday mate you know you know when you group stuff together the value actually gets better if that makes sense yeah so that we can always like we can get like we can do sick things that we wouldn't necessarily do on our, do on our own because yeah. in a group and it'd be so much fun. Yeah, so I said, well, right, I'm going pairs and we just go, right, this weekend, everyone lock it off. Simon yeah. and Ethan, you two are planning this. Mm -hmm. And me and him, all we got to do is think of two days worth of stuff yeah, yeah. and we go on a whole day. Bless. We can yeah. do that. I'd be sick. And we can do the meals on them as well. Yeah. You know, so well, you'd have a whole, pairs. like, you could go like Friday afternoon, mm -hmm. come back Monday morning or yeah, Sunday yeah. night. For sure, I'm down for that. If there's five a year as well, would you be less upset if someone can't make one? Or would you say no, everyone commit? I think I'd try and commit, to be honest. I think you've got to try and commit, but... Ultimately, if someone can't make it, like, I yeah. actually missed the FPL one for all the reasons. Like, something like that, it's fine, but, like... Yeah. If it's just because you can't be asked, I think as long as it's enjoyable, everyone will want to do it anyway. But I'm down. I mean, the only thing I uh, reacted to when I saw that was like, damn, he's earned some more money. <laughs> but, cause then, you know, <laughs> They're going to be expensive trips. <laughs> no, I know. But you know how after the stag do, everyone was like, well, bro, we've got to do this again. Who's getting married next? You know? Yeah. And then we got the bill through. And then me and Freeze were like, oh, man, no one yeah, I felt like the chat again. died as soon as the, bro, the chat through. died. <laughs> With her, that like, bill was outrageous. Everyone though. was reminiscing about certain things that are happening. Like, oh, I can't wait, man. It's going to be sick. Although I did, I remember one of the nights when I, when I had a few drinks and I talking to talking to Lachlan because yeah. I get on really really well with Lachlan yeah, yeah, I get yeah. on well with all of them yeah, but like yeah. Lachlan I talk to all the time yeah I got history of them and I said to him it's kind of weird that this is this is the only stag do I'm going to go on that we're both on because well, he's not going to make it to the rest of them well as in like him and I don't know Josh 
aren't close enough. Josh no, wouldn't invite him. No. I'm good friends with Lachlan. Yeah. But I'm not expecting to be on a stag do. Yeah. Like we're not that close. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, this is weird that I feel like we're really good friends and we're on so a stag do. But there's one person I could see him going to stag do of. Who? JJ's. <laughs> on the sense that like JJ just randomly invites weird Bro, people. Bro, sidecast. He said he's going to invite a thousand people to his wedding. Yeah, so true, true. A thousand people. So the stag's going to go crazy. But no, um, nah, it, is, it is mental. Yeah. But I also, Whoa. I also um, find it funny how like, on, the, on the trip as well, we were like, yeah, uh, do you want a private jet back? Everyone's like, yeah, fuck it, man. It was like, um, this, that. Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. After it's like, oh, man. But the good thing is, you guys are in a good situation because you didn't even have to look at what it costs. It just yeah. goes on your card. Yeah. I just don't, I just mute the chat. Yeah. Don't yeah, look at yeah. it. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. And I got bumped to pay it back because I was like, oh, shit, I haven't paid it yet. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then she was like, um, actually, the first one to pay. Damn. Freezy and Lux haven't paid yet. So yeah. Damn. You, you and you and Freezy Lux, you might think you're so sick, but you can't pay on time. <laughs> uh where do we go from here? I was just looking at my loan came then quick enough to be able to pay it. No. Not really. But I, I did know the funny thing about you know the whole Freezy thing of uh JJ getting the jet on the way there. Yeah. And then like him leaking it and saying that he lied and stuff yeah. like this. But I, but then why did it matter anyway? Because we paid for the jet anyway. What do you mean? Why did it matter? Because I thought the whole point was that he went and got JJ to like half it with him. No, I think yeah, he asked JJ, but it's more the fact that he said that JJ was like, "Oh, I've worked too hard for this." Yeah, no, no. But then yeah. I'm saying so like, what? So because of that, JJ didn't pay for it in the end. No, he did. <laughs> we paid for it. The way back, we did. No, both. Oh no, J we split the way. No. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, check, I'm pretty check, certain we check did. The split, man. I, not that I care. Oh, you can say that with them. I, 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 no, no, it sounds like I care. Again, I keep doing this. You sound jealous, bro. <laughs> Fuck! <sake. laughs> there was one one night or one daytime. We have spoken about this before. Calyx came down in this outfit. <laughs> yeah, he made it down halfway down the stairs, <laughs> and everyone just went, "Nah, bro, <laughs> nah, you can't wear that." <laughs> he turned around, changed his full outfit. Yeah, and that brings me on. Okay. To the fashion police. Oh, what a segue. Mm -hmm. friends, that's, so, good friends, that's good friends, by the way. Hmm? That's good friends who say that. It is good friends. Yeah. Do you have a photo? No. No, because he was in it for 16 seconds. He <laughs> literally, also, he walked like, down and we just, I can't even remember what it was. It was just. Yeah, but he didn't even say anything. He just turned around and went back. Yeah, he, he, everyone he, just went, what is he wearing? So looked he at him and said, nah. And he just turned around didn't, and just changed. <laughs> and then we all went, oh, you look good now. In the next one, he was like, okay, yeah, fair. Yeah. So in the 16th century in Italy, the fashion police were a thing. Wow. So they still are, you could argue. Are they? No. As in, in the in actual- metaphorical term, yes. Yeah, but as in an actual thing. I sound really salty now. You are, bro, just chill. Fuck off! Okay, come on, fashion police. For, so- For some further context. Yeah. Um, well, no, no, okay, go on. Can I yeah, guess? Yeah, Is it on. more like, back in the day, there was so many strict rules about what men and women can wear that if you're not wearing, if you're not covering up your breasts, for example, you're gonna get no, locked up and put into a cell. One. All right. It was more of uh, showing a bit of, um, People were over showing wealth, essentially. So one oh. of the accounts in this is talking about, um, there was a guy who came out wearing, he was basically flexing too hard. And they were like, no, okay. you, to, you can't to, stop you the flex. He had a rolly on his wrist. Yeah, That's basically. What? Yeah, he, he came out in too many fresh garms and they, they said, no, not allowed. What is, is fresh garms back then? Because I, I know they weren't cutting around in Gucci back then. Uh, it says in the account somewhere in here precisely what he was wearing. An embroidered it. cap, a silk doublet oh. of many colors with gold oh. buttons on the sleeves, two rings with white stones on his fingers, <sighs> a jerkin, <laughs> An embroidered hose, bro. Black was silk dripping though. That's hard. That <laughs> Freezy wall on the way down. Lux, Lux. Oh, Lux. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at you. Fucked up. Yeah, Freezy ain't got that. <laughs> Freezy wall something outrageous, by the way. You know. What I'm oh, sure? I do know. That I can't believe. Really, <laughs> say less. <laughs> say less. But yeah, uh, if there was a fashion police today, yeah. What things would you say should be a crime? Definitely, like the shoes JJ used to wear, like the gold, like big tall ones. Okay. They're cool shoes, but I feel like they're just like, you don't go with anything. I feel like nowadays, <laughs> nowadays, like a nice Air Force one, like, you know, white shoe, you know, it's like a nice. Yeah. You know, I'm saying like clean, fresh, you know. Okay. All these like shiny gold with like wings falling out. <laughs> the wings not, were yeah, outrageous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also um, the giant Medusa head. Yeah. I think like those, well, it's hard because like, yeah, obviously you've got different groups, you know. I was going to say like those chains that you used to strap to your belt and put in your pocket. But that's just like, it's like goth culture, you know. Yeah. So if, you, if you're wearing- If someone had it, I wouldn't say like, that's a crime. No. Like that, you should not be allowed that. Okay, I will say then, the person who doesn't wear goth clothes, but still does that to hold their wallets themselves. 
Like, come on, you're, like, okay, you're, yeah, you're 35, yeah, yeah. mate. You can make sure your wallet's not going to fall out your pocket. Well, that sounds like it's not for fashion. That mm, sounds like utility. it's... Yeah. Okay. You go then. What's, what's your fashion crime? Starting from the bottom up. Like Drake. Not the bot, bottom, the feet. Just in case you thought I was talking about butts. You can talk about your butts. I don't mind. I'll but, get there. Okay, great. So feet. Yeah. I'm saying two things. One, any form of... Web sock. Oh, yes. A web, sh- web sandal. That, yes. That individually has I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say actual sandals. Birkenstocks go kind of hard. Show me a Birkenstock. Birkenstocks are kind of back in, right? Like half of people love them, half people hate them. Hate them. Those are disgusting. But then you see that one in the middle, top, top. You need to Birkenstock, mate. No, down one. That. That, was banging. that style is even worse. Oh, if, okay. I agree. If you have to separate your toes with anything, that's that's, that's a borderline. Pedophilic. Yes. That's like yeah. a flip flop. Exactly. Yeah, I don't have flip flops anymore. Get slides. I, I, I also don't like flip flops. Slides, Crocs, you're even fine. Yeah. You know, just nothing that separates your toes. No, nah, but the ones that also have the, like those, okay, I don't like them, but the ones that also have the thing around the back and then they have a strap, like the proper, oh, like. Strap tranquilin. Yeah, proper. They, like, that's fine. That's, oh, like that. But that. Yeah, like that is. <laughs> but te- technically, Crocs sports mode is that. Criminal. <laughs> no, that I, I, is I, I, criminal. Like, what are you trying to do? Hold your ankle in breath? That and also when people wear, like, for example, JJ has done it a few times. You wear, say you wear white trousers. Mm-hmm. Some people wear white trousers. Then you wear white shoes and you wear black socks. Disgusting. Okay, how about though, white trousers, black socks and black shoes. That's okay. Or are you still saying no? I'd still say white socks. Uh, I, I, I it do- depends on the thing. Depends on the thing. Like, How about this? Like. How about I wearing black socks, say, on one day where I'm in my house only? Well, it's not, you're not wearing it out. Okay. It's not I, I also, I used to hate wearing black shoes in general. Like when I was at school, I just hate wearing black shoes. We had to, we had to. No, no. Then how about black shoes, white socks? I, oh, you look yeah. like Michael Jackson. Yeah. But you can't, like, you're not dancing. Oh, wait, I thought I was a, wait. He wore, he wore black shoes oh, right. with white socks. I was thinking of something completely different. Oh. Uh, what else? Okay, so that's that's what I would say from the bottom. And, and uh, jorts, jorts are criminal. <laughs> jorts if you're are... a hot girl, you can wear them. Oh, if you're a hot girl, wear them whatever <laughs> you want, man. Jorts for men, to specify. For jorts men? for men, and the ones specifically that are ripped. So like the ones that literally look like jeans ripped. So you've got a little bit of that white fluff coming out. If they're tapered a little bit, I don't mind it as much. Now, are we talking about denim nah, like, shorts? Those like denim shorts, don't like them. I still think they're a bit of a crime, but like you see the bottom left, no, up, up, that left one. That. That's criminal. I actually don't mind that as much as if it went over the knees. What? Look at it. Guy is kind of dripping, I can't lie. Yeah, he's What's owning it in there. He's owning it, man. I don't like any of the jorts. And bro, he's a tennis player too. Uh, he looks like standing. Patrick Bamford's face. <laughs> is that Con? No, it's Declan, Declan, Declan Rice. Rice. <laughs> so far from him. <laughs> I'm also going to throw out there. Yeah. When people have holes in their uh, oh, like jeans. Oh, like Pac-Man. No, I was just going to say when they're massive Yeah, holes. with the mouth open. The knees sure. out. The knees out. Yeah. And they sit yeah. down. They sit down and literally it's like shorts, then ankle bracelets. Yeah. 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 That can't get on board with. Upper body wise, I'm going to say. Never nudes, that's what they are. Oh, never nudes. You've seen it off Earth Adultment? <laughs> yes. I'm like season four. That was season one. Great show. Uh, Great show. It's decent. It's a it's, great show. That's, yeah. Simon was saying off camera, it's one of his favorite shows. <laughs> Up there with Scribs and Friends. I actually was saying how much, how angry I am that he let that get so far in the World Cup of TV shows because it's it's good, but it's it's good. That's it. I think you're just not elite enough to understand it. I think you're a simpleton. Wow. <laughs> you watch Young Sheldon. Yeah, that's for advanced minds. Do you understand who Sheldon is? Yeah, but he's just a stereotypical. He's smarter as a child than you are now. Yeah, it's cool. So I would it? make a better show than he would. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, I would. I'd make more. You can't even make a video. video. I know. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> That's so true. Then you have to get personal though. <laughs> upper body. My daughter's starving. I'm trying to think of an upper body thing. You know what I hate? Mm. And muscly guys get away with it. You hate muscly guys? No. I think I know what you're going to say. What? Are Tank you going to go for the vest? That would low vest that goes super low. I wasn't going to go with that. Or like a really, really low thing here. I was actually going to say short sleeve shirts. Oh. Not t-shirts, shirts. Yeah. Oh, hate them. And if you wear them in the sun, <laughs> that's what I wore last time. I was like, bro, I've been, I've been openly, I've openly said how much I hate them all the time. I hate short sleeve shirts. Can we get Google on that one. You can get away with it if you're muscly, because you or if it's a really hot day in a wedding. 
I'm pretty sure I've seen Nick in I wore jean it last shorts time I was and, here. and I you've never worn, you wore jean shorts and a short no, sleeve shirt. Sandals, <laughs> jean short or jorts, I've guys. It's not on shorts. <laughs> With black socks. I've never black socks. Worn you've worn <laughs> denim shorts though. Last time I was here, I was wearing a linen short sleeve shirt though. Linen is different because you can also wear that open. Mm. You know what I, I mean? I wish you would, Nick. As well, I wish you would. But like, no, these ones are more like holiday ones. I'm talking like have, that dad in the middle. I have a couple of these for golf, can't lie. If, if you have to wear them for golf, that's fair. Because I had to buy one for golf. Yeah, I wore this for the actual- uh, Although it wasn't all the way, but is yours colors. all the way buttoned? Or is it just the top? Is yours a polo, polo shirt? No, uh, the golf ones, golf ones are fun. No, golf ones aren't this. But golf I ones buy are polo ones For the, the race day. The like time. that, I hate that. Yeah. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay, yeah. Yeah, and also you can get away with it if you're super muscly, because like that bottom yeah. left one. He's going to work like that. Him, that guy. Like he just gets away with it because he's muscly. Yeah, he can wear whatever he wants. He can wear nothing. He looks like, who is that? He's in something. Yeah, he's in, he's in tape. No, he's, he's in a TV show. Yeah? Probably Young Sheldon, because I've never seen him. Can something you click like, it? Doesn't it look like a footballer? Like? Mbappe. Show it's a... No, it'll say modelled by Mbappe one, crushed with Marcus Rashford. No, he was in a TV like show. Ah, fucking calf cramp. Fuck me, man. Ah, I love cramp. Do you guys love cramp? I don't know what cramp he was in. He was in something. Fun. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, pissed me off now. Right now. I think he was in some like Netflix show. Yeah. Probably didn't see it. Probably was too um too basic for me to watch. Yeah. I watch real shows. Like what? What's the last thing you watch? Hijack. Apparently it's shit. It's actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. Freezy said it was shit. Yeah, pretty good. Though. And I actually trust Freezy. Yeah, so do I. But it's, it's not. It's, it wasn't silo level, but it was pretty good. When Freezy and JJ say, when they've both watched something and say it's good or not, I listen to it. Sometimes they have hooners though. Like what? I don't know. Do you need JJ's verification on Freezy's? Freezy yeah, 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 does like, sometimes suggest things. He's so like, JJ, so JJ. Like what? I don't know, I just know that he's put some hooners in there. Although one time, he put the, he, he, me and him were talking about the bodyguard. Have you seen that bodyguard show? No. I can't, I'm not gonna say what we said, but like, this is one, this is one, what, it's, weird. it's a weird show. It's a, show. it's a good show. It's a guy out of Game of Thrones, Rob Stark, and he's the bodyguard of like uh, this lady. He's like a politician, and he ends up like falling in love with her. And bro, there's one scene that's just crazy. <laughs> I was talking to him. <laughs> Look, I can't say it because it's just not. It's personal information, but it's a good show. You should watch that. ITV, I think. Yeah, I'm probably not going to. No, it's probably on Netflix. But it's, but it's, I think no, it might be just for Netflix. It's good though. Yeah, I probably won't though. Why? Because you like it. Most things you like are awful. What, what like what? Uh, Game of Thrones. That's not awful. <laughs> Arrested <laughs> Development. That's not awful either. That's one of the best shows of all time. You, your, your taste is mid. Like That's what though? Keep That's going. Like but what? You're like, you're like, oh, a show you'd really like. It's really good, but it's also terrible. Manifest. Like that's really amazing. Okay, yeah. Like it's so good, but no, no, it's no, really I bad. Said, I never said it was amazing. I said I was addicted to watching it. It's you not a great it was, show. You said it was amazing, but trash. Yeah, it's, it's like really fun to watch. Yeah, and, and you, I can't get on board with and that. And the new season come out. The new season come out and I haven't watched it because I can't be asked. I can't get on board with that. See, I, I, so it's I, not I that agree. good. I, actually, I said that you would love it entirely because you have like a little child man when it comes to shows. I was like, you actually enjoy this show. And you probably will actually. No. Cool concept. Do you want to tell what the concept is? I know what the concept is. We talked about it on here. It's yeah. about a plane that goes missing and then comes back forward in time, but no one's aged on the plane. Yeah, five years ago. Yeah, yeah. five years later. Uh, well, yeah. anyway, I took it back. Black Mirror. I watched, watched Black Mirror. Yeah, awful. That episode was awful. The mentioned. new season is awful. I actually liked a couple of episodes. The new season is terrible. No, no, no. Which episode? Okay, I hated the one that where they turned into werewolves. Yeah, that's that was not awful. An, yeah, it's not an episode. That, it, like, it was entertaining. It's like it's awful. It, it, no, it would have been entertaining if the if the twist was something good. Like if there something happened, but nothing happened. Okay, it turned into werewolf. I enjoyed the um, Scottish one where they made a movie about the dad who was ended up being a weirdo who filmed stuff. Yeah, that one was all right. All right, but I enjoyed literally in the first like five minutes, me and Talia both went. Oh, she's definitely about, like about the mum. Yeah, you can have suspicions, but it's still a well told. It was obvious. Yeah. For oh. Black Mirror as well, it has the well, best twist. You, you've gone into it with that expectation, but I, it's, I still enjoyed that one. I enjoyed the one where they were going up uh, into space and they had to have, like, they had to come down and be in each other's bodies and he had to kill them. That was okay. Like, yeah. And then I, I actually pretty much, I didn't enjoy the, um, the TV one. The TV one? Where she's like, she's a, she's a show. There's a show based on her. And in the show. Oh, is it the first one? I haven't seen that one, actually. Really? Jane, I hadn't seen that one. I liked it until the end. And the other one, the, the Dracula one, like the demon one, I enjoyed that too. Wait, wait that? The, uh, the girl who has the, yeah. yeah, she has the devil next to her and he's telling her to kill everyone and she has to go around killing them all. Oh. I thought that was pretty good as well. So I would say- I just, for me, Black Mirror needs to be like, 
the whole thing is things that could actually happen. Nah, man. What, nah, it doesn't have to be It's that. always been things that are like just off that if they could happen, this is what would happen. Like, you know, the first, the very first episode is the Prime okay. Minister Pig Yeah, one. fucking the pig, yeah. And it's like, okay, what if someone did just kidnap <laughs> a member of the I know, royal I family? Saying, I, I get what you're saying, but I'm still saying like, as a show or as something I'm watching, I enjoyed those ones. I did, the way Wolf was stupid, that was actually crap. The ones weren't bad. I, th- th- there's definitely been better seasons and better episodes, but I I enjoyed the, that, the ones I saw. Yeah, well, it's called Black Mirror based on, you know, the reflection of the phone and based there around technology. Yeah. But how the hell does the werewolf one in any way relate it doesn't. to technology? That, that's that's yeah. what you're saying. Though. That's where the problem is. They strayed away from technology. Ne- yeah, neither does the, the devil one. Yeah, the devil one. Doesn't make yeah, sense. true. And uh, it was a bit like... The devil one was good. It was okay. The, um, Channel 4, basically, I don't know if you saw... Well, the first few seasons were Channel 4, right? Yeah. They and they sold a, it. They've made a Black Mirror sort of style TV show recently. Did you Ooh. see this? So Greg, Greg Wallace hit with more with more Ofcom complaints over human meat documentary. So they made a... He does a TV show where he goes into factories. Yeah. And he, you know, looks at how the factory works. So he did one where oh. it was a fake one where they went in and looked at nice. human meat. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, but they didn't say it was a fake one. They just did it like a real documentary. Okay. So it was like a Black Mirror episode. And he goes and he eats this human meat. Okay. And, uh, no one, loads of people didn't realize it was fake. Oh. So it's very Black Mirror. That is cool. I saw a different video, but it wasn't like this. I thought that was Tom Hanks in that picture. Well, no, I saw it was like this guy eating someone else's meat, but it wasn't like what? <laughs> yeah, it was different. A different man. Yeah, wasn't eating like what website was it? Sort of a P. <laughs> He's Greg Wallace. He's like a buttery biscuit base guy. Is that him? Yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Damn, look at that video there. Buttery biscuit. Five hundred thousand. Sorry, fifty thousand. Big with the club. Seven hundred k. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's another thing. Well, by this point. Uh, well, we're filming a week in advance. My Big Brother Club series is back. Yeah. And I'm gassed. One of my favorite series is. It's so hard to get everyone together. Yeah. Though. I wanted to do it every week, but yeah. It's easier as it goes on because obviously one person leaves each time. I remember there was a time where I was in my dad's study playing on his old, like, 20 year old TV. How would that be possible? It's crazy, isn't it? What? Why? And I still recorded my uh, audio and stuff. Yeah, probably on a laptop. Yeah. I was, just, I was just saying, if I can make it work, they can make it work, man. <laughs> well, we had we had nine people to start plus me. I was the tenth. Yeah. And first week, Bateson went against Ellum in the vote. Yeah. Ellum lost. Okay. At this point, tough one for Ellum because Bateson is a FIFA. Yeah. Know. But at this point, as it stands, it is Zwayback versus Angry Ginge in the second oh. round. They're both up for vote, and I know Zway is a big YouTuber. But- Ginger's banging right now. I think Ginge wins this. Is is it live right now? Uh, It'll be it'll be already done by the the time this comes. No, so quite see the vote. The episode comes out tonight. Okay, okay. But Angry Ginge just has like you know he's the most subscribed Twitch streamer in the UK. Mad, mad. On TikTok, I see his clips all the time. Hit 13k yesterday. That one where he goes, he was like, ooh, ooh. and he's like, oh, that was so weird. (laughs) My favorite Ginge. He has jokes in the series as well. That's another reason why I think. Like when Thea was on it yeah. years ago, he like made this character of I'm the wizard, yeah, blah, yeah. blah. I think Ginge has that. Mm-hmm. He has the character. He's like the motivator. Yeah. yeah. So I think he's I think he's set to go far, you know? Yeah, no. Yeah. And, and, and who else is in it? I know you're trying to get Talia in, but Talia's not in. No, Talia's not in. Damn. Too busy. Uh, Too we busy have. What do we have? We have uh, P Money. Yeah. We He's have, fucking unreal as well, isn't he? Yeah, he got man of the match in the first episode. Fucking hell. Ethan got man of the match in the second episode. Mm-hmm, we got mm-hmm. Ethan. Another club's player. Uh, Danny Aarons. Danny Aarons. Uh, Manny. Annie. Thomas Bateson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ginger's way back. Nice. Yeah. It's honestly, I love this series. Yeah. But the only the only issues were really like pressed for time because the new game comes out 21st oh. September. So I have to finish it yeah, by you then. Do, you do. Otherwise no one will care. Also clubs are getting a big rehaul anyway. Yeah. But then I want to start a new series almost straight away. Yeah. Of clubs. Yeah. Nice. And as in another oh, big brother clubs. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, six, six. I actually think you've like, you've kind of set this up in a cheap way. You know, sorry, a cheat way. Why? Because you get to play in every game. I'm also the only one paying money. Yeah, true. I just think it's not fair. Why? Because like say if you're Ellen now, you can't play anymore. Yeah. 
Uh, he comes back for the final. True. Everyone comes back for the final. True. Well, no, I, I, I just love playing clubs. What a game mode. I saw someone say like, someone being like, oh, winner gets 10K and he's calling it 50K Big Brother Clubs. I was but like, well, the pain. winner gets 10. Second place gets- Second gets five. Yeah. Third gets one. Yeah. Every single player gets 500 pounds an episode. Mm-hmm. So first episode is already uh, 4,500. Yeah. Uh, Man of the Match gets 500. Yeah. Then I've added in this year, I'm going to do awards for like best, worst miss. Nice, nice. Best player of the whole- well, not Somebody best grabs for them. Best goal. And each of those gets a grand. Sick. A grand? Yeah. Mate, I, I got paid like two, three grand from you. And you actually sent it to me as well. I sent it to everyone. You didn't have to send it to me. <laughs> well, you played, so I, I know, did. I know, I know. I'm just saying, guys. Although, I was playing the last episode we recorded. Who was it? Someone said, someone was like, yeah, you haven't sent me the money yet. And I was like, well, no, we've done one episode. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, I was like, I, I think it was Danny. <laughs> oh, Danny was like, oh, I haven't got my money yet, so I can't pay for this. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'll send it at the end. Once, yeah, yeah. I said, how much it is? Yeah. See, there's a new game coming out that's basically clubs. There's a game called Man of the Match coming out. Wow, I think this game should be called Personal of the Match, personally. <laughs> but you um, you scan yourself. Yeah. Don't tell John. Phone. John's fucking scared of scanning anything. And then you put yourself into the game. Just looks a bit much, though, doesn't it? Well, yeah, and every time I scan myself into FIFA, I look like a nonce. <laughs> <laughs> so it's accurate. I got done, yeah. I mean, yeah. this will be. Uh, this I mean, can I see any any video of gameplay, or is it just this bald man walking on a pitch? <laughs> what? Yeah, sick game, man. I can become a bald man. They've based it off him, and he looks <laughs> like the least footballer man I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, he in looks my life. like he looks like a, 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 he looks like the most average maker pro player. <laughs> <laughs> they chose the most. Sorry, sorry to this guy, but we'll still do a brand deal on it if you want to stay. Oh, bro, I'll suck <laughs> this man off for a hundred grand. No, hundred grand. Wow. Five grand. <laughs> Keep going lower. Two, one. But yeah, I love times. to do. I love to do a Big Brother clubs just like continuously. My dream was always mm. to do um, VFL. No, do right. nine series of it, and then invite all the winners back. Oh yeah, and do another series with that, nine. Unreal. unreal. And then also the next series would be the nine losers. Mm. Oh my god. Because then be it would be like yeah, yeah, the first person to go out on every single one. Yeah, yeah. Because then one of them has to win. Mm-mm-mm. I love. I love the series. I love playing clubs, man. I mean, yeah. people are always screaming for Simon Club. Maybe you bring it back on the new game if the we features will. are good. We will. Oh, okay. No, say less. Say less. Say less. Although I think the issue is like Vic never enjoyed it. What? Like no. he enjoyed the first couple times because it was just playing a game with the boys. Yeah. But as it got further on and it was like, all right, you actually have to yeah. play. Yeah. So I think maybe it'll be a case of we do a couple episodes with all of us and slowly phase out having to have all seven. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you'll get episodes with four of us. Yeah. But I'll play. Need, yeah. need numbers on clubs. Yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> wow. Um, how was Among Us yesterday? I was, I was not in it. It was good. We filmed more Sidemen Among Us. It was good. Time, one of the first times I've never been in, I don't think. I, think. I know. It was weird. I was just like, it was, really tired. it was good though. We had yeah. Laser Beam, Deji, yeah. Viz, and Danny. No Calux. No Calux, even though he. Uh... <laughs> did we say that on the hey, last podcast? Else. Who else do we have? So Cal- Calux got the day wrong. So Calux was sat. We've told this, right? Yeah. Or we no, just we on. So Calyx was meant to do, it was Tuesday, the recording, 11 to 1. I actually spoke to Calyx about asking him to come on this podcast. He sent me his calendar and he had this, he had Among Us, 11 to 1 on Wednesday. <laughs> and I didn't realise about saying it to him because I wasn't on it. So I thought that maybe they've moved it. Yeah, as you can see, the, oh, the fucking chip fact tweeted it. Yeah, of course. Lux is currently sat at his desk, headphone on, mods all set up, 100% focused and ready to play. Simon Among Us, the session was yesterday. <laughs> I, I, bro, I tweet banged as well. Chip fact because it was a few bangers, you know. He's he, really good he, at it. He farms yeah. it, but it's well deserved. Yeah. He puts good tweets out there. We should all we should all actually um you know, take note. At least I should. Yeah, it was, Twitter. It was yeah, it was good among us. Mm. It's just bangs still on this channel. I, I, I don't I get it. I, I mean it is really fun and we are constantly changing the roles. But I, I literally get like people like I'll, I'll meet someone in, in real life and they'll be like, oh man, I, I fucking love you on Among Us. I'm like, damn, it's all, all I'm known for. It's just, <laughs> To bloke in Among Us. Is it still fun to play? Yeah, bro. It is because we changed the role. So like yesterday we did, the first one was a camouflage role. Mm-hmm. So when you press the button, everyone goes the same color, so no, na- no names or I anything. I should have done it, man, but I just, I, I, I actually woke up late. Yeah, as long as we have good roles, yes. And we are working on more mods that are more mm-hmm. catered to Oh, because this was a new mod as well, wasn't it? Yeah. New pack. Did, did everyone get installed? Yeah. To be fair, that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to do it. Because I was like, you know what? It's not 11. It'll be like- Oh no, this was actually like- actually sick, yeah. This was quick. Yeah. Like I'd say we started recording probably like 
16 minutes did we get into it yeah cold yeah cold from him <laughs> fixed our moments um but no also we, we actually believe it or not we don't play in our sessions that many games no so weirdly it doesn't become i i'd say it's the perfect amount of among us yeah because like it's what, that, what you we record once every, every month time. you record it once every month twice a month oh twi- is it really that, that, well, okay we put a video out every every week i think of among us oh, it's twice a month well, how often do we put it? Because we, we record two videos when we do it. Yeah. Well, I, what I'm trying to say, and, and anyway, it doesn't feel like too much Among Us. Like, it's a perfect no. amount. Because like, when we streamed, you, could, you probably got enough. Like, it's like, oh, Yeah, man. we were streaming for like eight hours a day. <laughs> what I do love that. In the last session, when, when, when I was in, we were like, oh, let's try Polus. And we did. And then you can tell that everyone was just like, hmm. We tri- yeah. And then back on the regular map, everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> I'm guilty of that. I, I just like, the ones are so complicated. It's more just because certain people, certain people do dislike it a little bit they don't find it as fun like i really enjoy it yeah and i actually just like if i'm if i'm crewmate i'll enjoy it yeah i don't have to do much just sit around and yeah uh so some people enjoy it less but yeah we change map and people just can't get to grips with it for me it's more like my attention span just struggles on it and i'm like so everyone's like oh where do you see the body i'm like i actually don't not i don't know where it is i'm like i can't remember what happened like because it's so spread out but it's because we had 13 people that time yeah. So we're like, what well, if we're doing? Yeah, if we're having that many people, we need a bigger map. And everyone, yeah, 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 for sure. And everyone lies on the reactor. Everyone's like, oh, did you do left reactor? So I'm like, yeah. That's the point of the game, though. Oh, I know. But it's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. I love this channel so much, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Hold on, a seven mil, five point five mil, five point six mil. It's unreal. I love this channel. It's un- yeah. It's and also like I feel like you can play around with titles more. You can be more like. Not clickbait, but you can be more out. You can. There's more opportunity to kind of like make a banger title than there's on the main channel, because main channel has to be more a matter of fact. What is the video? Yeah, there's more. There's more room for clickbait. I guess a clickbait. You can be yeah. You can be more clickbait on this one. Yeah, but more tongue and cheek clickbait. You know. Yeah, oh, I just love it. Yeah, me too. As a, as a connoisseur of um, well, not as a connoisseur, as a viewer of. Consumer, as a consumer, I would consume. That's like sometimes every now and then, like I missed a studio then, day yeah. of more side men. You and I also it. missed one gaming session. I watched them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was quite happy because I won't watch it if I'm in it. I don't. Well, I watch this it Among Us. I watch it. I'm like, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Brap, 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 brap. Well, did we, you know? Yeah. That woman has named a kid after a Tupperware. No. Neither did I until I've just read this article. What What is the name? What was your? I want to. What were you going to say? Because I was going to segue into you cooking up a banger there. Thing. Okay, fundamentally on this one, uh, this woman, her friend, she's worried about her friend because uh, her, her friend wants to name her son Tupper after Tupperware. Right? Is it? Do we know for sure it's after Tupperware? Because Tupper seems that's, like a normal that's what, name. That's what the article suggests. And from this, I was going to say, if you've heard what are the wildest kind of names that you guys have heard or have been suggested to you, that you're like, nah. Hold on. I am reading this. Look, in a post on Reddit, the woman said she wants to name them Tupper like Tupperware. I've tried so hard to tell her not to, but she is firm. She's decided it's a cute gender neutral name. Am I in the wrong? It's cute. Is it cute? She's not saying she's naming it after Tupperware. She's saying it's like, you know, Tupper, yeah, like Tupperware. Tupper from inspired, Tupperware. Yeah, Tupper from Tupperware, though. That's yeah, but she's, she's just taken this out. She hasn't gone like, oh, I'm going to call my kid John, like Baby Johnson Wipes. Yeah. Johnson Baby Wipes. Like, it is still John like Baby Johnson White. Yeah, but Tupper doesn't exist on its own outside. Yeah, she's made context. up a new name, though. Nor did yeah, she- Simon. Mm. Someone had to start. True. I'm back in the woman. Like, yeah, I'm back in the woman. As long as she doesn't say, like, oh, I'm calling him Tupperware because I love Tupperware. Yeah, yeah. That's- she's, uh, she's gone Tupperware. Oh, yeah, Tupper. Tupper, no. that's cool. It's she like Tucker. Gone- yeah, it's like Tucker. There was oh. a kid's TV show I watched when I was younger that had a- the main character was called Tucker. John Tucker Must Die? No, it was a TV show. Film. It was a good film. Good film. What was it? I remember it, yeah. Next, what I would type here, I would type like, you and know, there was Tucker TV show, main character. The whole, I remember, I just remember it really, really vividly because mm. there's one episode where they have to do Just Dance in like an arcade. Oh, And yeah. it gets really good and wins. Do, do you ever have an... Oh, it's just called Tucker. One season. Damn, you got, you, you know how to watch a show, Simon. You know how to pick them. And I remember this series. Although I don't remember this at all. <laughs> Damn, this was the, Tucker. this was probably Hot like the period where... Hot Mother Tucker. You know, like, um, you know, in kid shows, they always make it really weird where Do he they? falls in love with a girl that clearly looks like 20 and he looks about 11. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And the girl is flirting back. Yeah. And it's it's weird. Yeah. But it always happens in those shows. Mm, mm. And me being like an 11-year-old kid is like, 
Damn. Damn. Have you seen a film called Eagle Eye? No. All right. Have you seen Our Robot? Yes. Right? Have you seen a film called Island? The Island with uh, Ewan McGregor? Oh, no. And Scarlett Johansson? No. They're in like a... No. No? I'm thinking of... What am I thinking of? The Leonardo DiCaprio... That's called The Island, right? Shutter Island. No, not Shutter Island. There's one where they go to the... The beach. The beach. Okay, I see how that could be similar. No, yeah. but well, anyway, I, my entire life, would say I Robot is one of my favorite movies. I watched it, and I was like, I have never seen this film. <laughs> and I would argue, if we were on the podcast and you didn't like I Robot, I would have argued one of the best films ever made. I watched it, and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> it's a great film, though. I think I watched Bless it. You. Yeah, it's a great film. I enjoyed it. What film were you thinking of? The Island. In, so what, um, give me the plot of the okay, island. So the plot of the island is Hugh McGregor and Scott Johansson are both in this like facility. They wake up, it's all white. They get fed like paste uh, for their meals and they have to do tasks, they do jobs, but they don't know why they exist. All they know is that they have they get a chance to go to the island. So there's a lottery system um, that you get pulled out of and you get to go to this fantasy world of called the island. I can spoil it for you though. Okay. The island doesn't exist. They're all clones of rich people who are buying insurance policies. So if you've got a bad kidney, they create you, birth you into this like facility. And if you need a kidney replacement, it will go and take the kidney out of your clone. If you have like anything wrong with you, you need a new arm, they'll go and take the arm off that person. So okay. it's a clone. And it, they, what happens is two of them end up like figuring out what they are. They escape and they go and find their actual main person. person. Yeah. And then they, yeah. So for example, there's two, there's two Ewan McGregor's, there's two Scott Janssen's. But how does that end? Spoiler, if you don't want to know. Don't listen. How does it end? Um, well, he, he actually, there's a point where this guy has been sent out to go and hunt them down like a bounty hunter and he finds both Ewan McGregor's clone and not clone. And obviously the clone is really smart here and he starts copying him, his accent. Because one's Scottish, one's American. Yeah. Uh, and the guy ends up shooting the real guy <gasps> and he goes in and then tries to replicate that guy's life. But he decides he's actually going to go back to the island and set them all free. Man. So he does that and goes and sets them all free. Mad. Uh, and, and long story short, the guy who was out there being the bounty hunter ends up helping them escape. Mad. Nice story. But for some reason, I always just assumed that it was, it was a robot. So what I learned from this is not once in that whole story is there a robot. Not once. So, <laughs> how have you thought that film... is called iRobot? No, it's just because like, I was a kid watching both of them. And like, it's just because the idea of clone... And in, in, in the iRobot movie, there's a scene where the robot is hiding with when all- When did iRobot come out? Uh, oh, I feel I, like it's I, like, it sounds like a 2012 Is that I'm, late? Yeah, and I believe uh, I was 2005. Early, 2004? Yeah, and, and, and I was 2005. I thought the iRobot was like 2010. But I've definitely seen, I think I saw it in the, in the cinema as a kid. So I think that's my first memory of it. And then I just lost all memory of it. So when I was watching it, I was like, I remember certain scenes, but for example, I was like, I never, I was watching it. I was like, I never saw the start of Will Smith like being in the town. I was like, what? And I was like, I haven't seen this version. And then I was like, wait, well, I actually haven't seen the movie. But I would argue with you to the death. Like, oh, it's one of the top five films of all time. Or, you know, something like that. And I, so and would you now say that a good film, though, The right? Island is top five films of all time? No, 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 no. Okay. Neither are, by the way. But like, I would, I would back them. I love The Island. I think it's a great movie. Ma- Michael Bay. So okay, he did that. So lots of explosions. Yeah, and- yeah. And lens flare. After that, he did Transformers two years later. So the original Transformers is like, it is actually up there with one Watched of my favorite films. Well. Yeah. Time. I started watching the new one. And I was like, you know what? That film was flopped, apparently. Is it? I didn't. Well, I, I got a minute in, and there's like a, a, a robot cheetah running around. Yeah, it's it's the it's called like Age of Is it Age of Extinction? This one? God, no, no, I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't watch shit like they're that. They're all like they're all based off animals. Mm-hmm. So like, there's like a King Kong robot. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll give it a go, but I, I was like, you know what? Why don't I just watch the original? Because like, it, it's still a great movie, and like, it gives me a nice warm feeling. And Shia LaBeouf's a goat, by the way. He is a goat. He was in Eagle Eye. That's why I was bringing that up. What's the new? Oh, Rise of the Beasts. That's what it's called. Age of Extinction. Wow. Was 2014. Budget. Oh, come on, man. That, that's crazy, though. 195 million budget and it still made 400 million. Yeah. I hate movies. But I know there's a whole thing of like, I saw a TikTok that was they like, do. what do they consider it success? And six times is the like. Yeah, yeah. you have to put a lot of advertising in as well. That's yeah. just the production. Six times is like amazing. The seven transformers. But like, look how big that is, right? I know we spoke about it last week's podcast, but Racka Racka's film did 10 mil opening weekend. Mm-hmm. Transformers did 61. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, true, true. Yeah. That's nuts. Bumblebee did 20 mil. Yeah. Although, oh, yeah, although that was... Fair, Bumblebee okay, yeah. is... Bumblebee is Bumblebee. No, Rack Rack, they're going to have like a career now. <laughs> no, sorry, wait. <laughs> I know what you're saying. No, I'm saying they're going to make... They're going to change... And to be fair, they struggle on YouTube actually because they the content they were making would always get age-restricted, always get demonetized. Yeah, look, sick. That's so sick. Can you, that, Elemental flopped, you know, apparently. What's that? Three... 
mil, oh, 145 mil overall. For a Disney movie, that's pretty poor, right? Oh, okay. Bad. Okay, still made 400 million dollars. Go back. I want to see what, you know, Burt Kreischer did a movie. I want to see how it was doing. Oh, yeah. The machine. Um, it probably won't be in like here anymore, but damn. Do you know what it's called? Yeah, the machine. Oh. Just type it in the, the machine. Yeah, click that. I want to see. But Mark Hamill's in it. Domestic opening, 5 mil. Worldwide, 10.6. Mad. So the rack rack is doing even better than that. That's crazy. In one weekend. That's crazy. Yeah, that's mad. That's mad. Well. I wanted to mention. We were talking about like robots mm -hmm. and tech mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. That was this podcast, right? Yeah. Okay. Like five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a thing now in China. Well, yeah. Where you can walk past people. It was above. Mm -hmm. And it's an app that basically shows nearby people that are in debt. So if you go into the Reddit one quick, this is showing yeah. someone actually using the app. Or from oh my phone god! Like, so this what is, in the Black Mirror? So what the hell? Yeah. So this is people who have in the local to this person who have de defaulted on their debt. Damn, it's like Pokemon Go. And it's this part of the social credit system. So if you spend so much time hanging around people like these, like your geotag doing that, your social credit goes down as well. So what if I just live near them? What if Living, I live next I door? Think, I think I think it's like it, because of they can use Wi-Fi to detect where people are as well as your four G. They can tell that you're just in the vicinity rather uh, as opposed to. I heard that why you can, you can. Okay, I heard that you can see where you are, people are. You can you can use Wi-Fi as a camera essentially in your house. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? So with AI, they're just like, so like you can. Cause they, they know where you are, man. Cause like the Wi-Fi can detect how far away your device is and all this stuff. So they can like literally locate where you are and make a picture of you in your house. They can know it. It's this. Yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've heard this whole AI, dream thing. AI generating dreams and turning Wi-Fi routers into cameras to see through walls. That's a way better explanation than I did. <laughs> Fucking hell. But I got there. Yeah, see this like, little mock-up here? What the hell? Because the, the radio signals are there, so it's like it's like also LIDAR. it's like what blocks the signal. Yeah, it's they like can build what it is. Yeah. So you, when you're in your Whoa. car, you're in your Tesla, you'll see that like your car can see the car in front of the car that's in front of you. Yeah. So how did it do that? It's just yeah. through lidar. I don't know what the fuck's lidar, man. It sounds like a tiger and a lion mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Oh, so I saw the thing about the dreams because that's just weird. I don't like it. Yeah. What, what's, what's that one about? What the, the dream dreams thing? One. Go back to the video you were on. At the top, yeah. So this is like... Because essentially, essentially you could generate dreams, right? Yeah. Do you have vivid dreams? Hmm? Do you have vivid dreams? Sometimes, not often. When I was starting to improve my sleep, I started having way more vivid dreams. And I didn't, didn't like it. Really? Yeah, because it's like real. It feels real. And you wake up, it's not. Yeah, but you don't remember it after like three minutes. Yeah, but that three minutes is traumatic. <laughs> you also have like hundreds of dreams and don't remember. Yeah. You remember one. Mm -hmm. Or like a couple, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, to your knowledge, what was the generating dreams thing? I can't. I'm actually trying to remember now. That's no, okay. Seeing that image of it? the video that you were just on. Oh yeah, yeah. The so, dream so one. It's more that it can see what you're dreaming. Yeah. Fuck me, man. It yeah, it can present on images. The computer. Lock me up. <laughs> 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 I dream up some fucked up shit, man. Take me away. <laughs> Bro, what would you be? What, okay, you're on death row. You got three meals. So you got, you got one final meal. We got three courses to start a. Main course, dessert. What are you going for? What a random question. Yeah. I like it, but yeah, yeah. I don't know how you've got there from. I have brains. Okay. I got um, number two on my ideation score. Nice. We'll talk about that. Should we do that? Should I pull up my score? I was going to say, should we talk about, should I do the meal first? Then we'll talk about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't have a starter. I would have just another main. I also wouldn't, I don't think there's a dessert I would have. I think I'd have another main. <laughs> Simon, come on, man. You're about to die. Yeah. Have some fucking custard tart. No. I think I, I think genuinely Time. I'd have like you know what I'd have sides. Fuck off. <laughs> no, I, I would have fresh sides. Fresh sides would be a starter. I would have chicken tendies. Tendies. A Domino's pizza. Fuck off. Right. Actually. A Domino's pizza with a Burger King XL double bacon cheeseburger with some. Uh, which one? Which ones do cheesy chips? Five Guys or Shake Shack? Shake Shack. Yeah, Shake Shack know. cheesy chips. You don't even need to finish the cheese part. You liar. <laughs> I did. That was his one. Oh, was it? Yeah. Like, oh. We've gone through that already. I, I haven't seen that part. Um, no, it's not in the video. Uh, yeah. Um, then I probably have some McDonald's nuggets. Okay. And I'd just eat all that together. And yeah, uh, McDonald's I, chips. I don't hate it, actually. I I hate just, it. it would be like, it'd be filth. 
Have you ever had, ever and had then it? maybe some Sunday roast Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> nice. Yeah, why are you lick me then? Um, <laughs> mod pizza. Have you had mod pizza? No. It's in the UK, right? Mod what's, pizza. What's mod pizza? I swear it's on the high street in Nottingham. What is it? It's just pizza, but it's sick. It's so good. Is it hang though? On, hang on. Yeah. This is just in Nottingham. Well, I had it in America. It's American, but I had it in Nottingham. Well, there you go. Mod closes. Mod, mod pizza closes UK restaurants. It's sick. <laughs> if I had it, it's really nice. Is it like is it like high end or is it like yeah, takeaway? It's just, pizza, it's just normal pizza. No, but is it like Domino's or is it like Pizza when Express? When I had it in America, it felt it? a bit more clean, it felt cleaner than Domino's, but it felt more dirty than Pizza Express. Okay. I I, I, I enjoyed it. Because by the way, actually you guys introduced me to this. Um, putting hot honey on your pizza. Oh. So you know when we used to go Pilgrims. Yeah. Yeah. The last that pizza bangs. Yeah. Okay. Well, we were going to talk about this thing that you just mentioned. Yeah. So Calux. Yeah. Put in the chat yeah. about this. Um. You take a test, 60 questions. No, 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 sorry. It's like a high-end personality test. It's cost 60 pounds. Oh, it's 60 pounds. It's like 100 questions or something. Okay, and you only have like 30 seconds to answer each question. So yeah, it's not 20. like you can sit there and be like, oh, do I do this? Oh. Yeah, yeah. You have to just answer it. And then he uses it to like, I mean, not to go into too much personal detail, but like, you know, if he's hiring someone or trying to get the judgment of someone, he'll see what, what, the, what their weaknesses and what their strengths are. And I thought, that's pretty sick, actually. I'd like to know mine. And also, I might use that for other people in the future as well, like if you're trying to work with someone. So I took the quiz. I was at the airport. Flight was delayed. And then um, and I posted my score in there and he was ridiculing me. No. It, he was laughing at me. He wasn't laughing at you, but he, he was saying, I'm a better human than you, you peasant. Fuck off. Don't even talk to me ever again. <laughs> I'm not taking any, any advice from you. One of, the, one of the squares that had something in was ideation. Yeah. And he got one. So you get one to 36. Yeah. Or 34. Yeah, 34. One to 34. Whatever one is, is your like strongest suit. 34 is your weakest. Mm-hmm. He got one in ideation and had basically heard from a few people. Is it that? No. He heard from a few people that like no one's got one in ideation. A few people have got two, whatever. And then Randolph posted his. Randolph got two on ideation. Yeah. And you said two's, You said one's the best, right? One's your, be- one's your best trait. Yeah. 34 is your worst trait. Yeah. And he was basically like, oh, lol. Like not number one though is it or something like i don't yeah, know he was joking he was joking he, he was, was joking. joking but the the funny part is that like his reasoning as to why again it's not going to go into detail because it's like it's his opinion but like man i mean you were just chatting in the <laughs> well, chat, he, the he said he said about like oh if you're if you're hiring someone for ideas you want ideation to be number one yeah and i was like i get it because you obviously that's their job but there are other factors in there yeah that I would rather have, or at least they have to be high. It's not mm-hmm. just one. Like there was learning. Yeah. There was, um, yeah, well, there was learner, achiever, strategic. Yeah. Input, adaptability. Yeah. Uh, com- uh, consistency. You mentioned that one. No, I answered that. No, yeah, that, that's picture, the answer. Yeah, Clifton 34. Yeah, I sent you a picture of, on WhatsApp of my score. You'll pull up the little bo- the boxes and stuff. So for example, my consistency was 34, which actually is pretty accurate. I'm, I'm not consistent at all. So what happens if I do this and consistency is like 30? Well, then it's wrong. Well, no, because it, it, might, it might mean, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that like, okay, you're consistent in your work, but it might mean that your like personality isn't consistent, if that makes sense. So, like, you, like what, what would you do on a, I, I don't know, I, I don't know how it calculates all this. Also, by the way, this is sick. It gives you a report, by the way, on every single aspect and tells okay. you what you could work on more and what your strengths are. So, so for example, I've got 34 consistency. That's bad. 30 responsibility. <laughs> Again, bad. <laughs> then I've got, like, I've, got, I've got three on maximize, whatever that is. Six on communication. Five on activator. Eight yeah, on positivity. That's such a weird order right now. This, oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you just, got number one. You got futuristic. Yeah, I don't know what that means. What, yeah, well, you got to have a report. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. I just looked at pictures. Okay. <laughs> Two. Like forward thinking. Yeah, so they, he's asking questions like, oh, would you, uh, do you, you care more about the future? the future? Yeah, so I was like, I, I always would rather think like, what can I do to improve something in the future? And also overthinking all this. So I'm always like, what's the next step? You know, rather than living in the moment say. But, okay. it's, but then again, that can be, number one futuristic could be a bad thing as well. It could be like, oh, you're looking too much into the future. Yeah. That's what I was, that's what I was saying to look. Yeah. It's like, okay, number one ideation, number two ideation, doesn't mean that like, number two ideation is bad ideas. Yeah, like also, for example, isn't one of them um, a chi- uh, So you have Achiever, 25. Yeah. yeah. I think if you have, is, there's not like- um, One's appli- Executor, I think I saw. Yeah, is there one about execution or application or something like that? Yeah, I did see it. Adaptability, into input. No, nah, there's not really. Oh, no. Activator, I guess, or Arranger. Well, say like Discipline as well. Yeah, discipline yeah. Could be good well, thing. I would just put those with yeah. Ideation because yeah, yeah. if I have all the Ideation, yeah. And then zero achiever. Yeah. 
I'm not doing anything. With yeah, it, yeah, which, yeah, yeah. Or like, say, or say, focus. And you, you've got an idea, but it, like it might be a shit idea that you can't actually implement. But he might not want that. He might just want literally ideas. Yeah, it's true. It's true. You know, I mean, it is different for everyone. But what is woo? Why are you 14 on woo? I don't know what woo is. I, I have to log in to pull it up what it is. Okay. So I'll have to do that at a different time. I but imagine woo is like your communication skills, right? Part of communication, like wooing people. Maybe. <laughs> Isn't woo, like, what the fuck else is isn't it? Isn't woo sex? Or you could be like a woo girl. Yeah. Woo. From How I Met Your Mother. Oh, yeah. Girls that whenever they say something, they're like, let's have I a drink. I don't watch woo. shows <laughs> that are worse than the rest of development, so. I haven't seen that. So how do you know it's worse? I have seen it. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah, lawyered. Just said lawyered. I was going to, but I yeah. thought you wouldn't get it because you're simple. No, I've seen that show. <laughs> Self-assurance, adaptability, individualization, context. Yeah, it's just interesting to like, see what you're bad at. Probably more than seeing what you're good at, actually, because like, I'd rather improve. But then again, I don't think any of this is bad. No. Which is what, what you are. Because the other thing is about those tests, though, I always think, as honest as you can answer it, I feel like you almost need other people to answer it. Yeah, because you do sometimes, it's like, oh, what, but to be fair, this was a really good quiz, because it wasn't like, for example, it's like, oh, how smart are you? Uh, no, you are very smart. Strongly agree, strongly disagree. It's not like that. It will give this. you two different things that aren't even related. So it's, it's more like, you know. Give me a, can you think of one example? I, I, let me take a screenshot. I, I took a screenshot of one. I'll read that out. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to find it, I have to find it. Um, okay, here we go. All right. So one of the questions is, uh, it, it strongly describes me either way. So it's like, so left is strongly describes me. Then it goes, it's got five dots. Okay. So strongly describes. Like I literally strongly agree, strongly disagree. No, but it doesn't, it, it it's okay. It's strongly agree, middle. Strongly agree, moderately agree, middle. Moderately agree, strongly agree. So it's not like. Okay. So it, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what's so for example, the, what's this one is: statement? I ask others for opinions. Others come to me for opinions. Okay. So it's not necessarily that, that's a bad example because. See, a, I think I would just be. I'd be like, oh, I'll just put that in the middle. Yeah, and that one I did. Okay. Example, but like, the, what I'm trying to say is, it's not always like hot and cold. It's sometimes like hot and hot or cold and cold. So it's not, it's not always contrasting things. Okay. So sometimes it's, it's hard to answer because it's not like you're choosing yourself in. It's not like negative positive, you know. Uh, yeah, they said also, it there. If you go up a tiny bit, it says futuristic. Share your visions of a better future. I don't get really. No, what, no, that's oh, what that's you should the, do. It's a futuristic. Oh, uh, okay. So as well, for reference, if you're taking these kind of tests and you are constantly picking ones in the middle, that's not a bad thing. That um, you will just end up with your results as dictated by the middle. Yeah. Like you, you picking the middle ones is actually saying something. This yeah, but someone else that. might go like, oh no, you ask opinions all the time. Yeah, but only like, they're not around you all the time. They don't know you as well as you know you. So you are the best person to answer this. Nah, but everyone has a different like version of what they think they are. If you're being truthful with yourself, you'll come close to the, 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 the answer, right? You know? Yeah, but some people, you don't have like... Again... Let's go, look, for an easy example, this is completely away from this, but still the same kind of thing. X Factor. Mm -hmm. People go on there thinking they can sing. Yeah. And people, if they... The ones that stink, like bad, people must have told them before, like, you can't sing. Mm hmm and they go on going, I know I can say that. Maybe they've never had people in their life who, who haven't, that's the problem. But the amount, think how many people go on X Factor and can't sing. Oh, you were right on Woo, by the way, John. People exceptionally talented in the Woo theme love the challenge of meeting new people and winning them over. They derive satisfaction from breaking the ice and making connection with someone. So what, what was yeah. mine on that one? Fucking- 24? Uh, 14. Was it 14? 14. Mad. In the middle then, right? Ish. Yeah, just above. But like, I think this was better than most ones that I would see. You know, like, you know some of the really like, annoying, it's like, oh, you know, um, you know, how much like, of a good person you are. Strongly agree. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, how would you say you are? Do you have an entrepreneurial spirit? Strongly agree. Yeah. It wasn't like that, but it's still I mean, it's interesting. I need to read but, all this stuff, but so ultimately, well, I, I was bored in the airport. But, oh, by the way, 60 quid, fucking hell. Yeah. yeah. And what you, but what you were previously discussing though is like delusional people, right? Delusional people, it's not gonna be helpful to them, but it serves you best nah, to but, answer this as truthfully as possi possible. But I think everyone has a little bit of delusion in everything. I don't think anyone is so self-aware of every single part of the Everyone's aspect a of their you know, like. Yeah. yeah, but people are more self-aware probably than they are deluded. Yeah, but I think nope. like, for example, there's times where, I don't know, someone will go, all right, I, oh, I work as hard as I can. And it's like, well, you don't, mm. you could, you, work you could work harder. Yeah. Or, you know, I am, I'm really good at this, but you're actually like, all right, yeah. 
but in your head you're actually way better than you think or, or you're pessimistic about yourself you're very again, mm. again though but the thing is with this kind of thing you're the one paying 60 quid you're not doing this for the benefit of anyone else so it does serve you just to do it right you know do it yeah you would you would be doing it right in your mind but then everyone would go like imagine i put all right uh like i'm stubborn about things and i literally strongly disagree okay so for example say say you know someone's I mean? hiring. everyone's gonna go why'd you put that but i think the questions are a bit more nuanced they are, they are. Yeah, but I'm saying like there's still there is still room for quite a lot of room for. Say error. if you're applying for a job, right, and you need to you need to be strategic. I could just answer all these like, knowing that it's going to improve my strategic score. Yeah, if someone made me do this for a job, I would think I'd be able to. But it's nailed. It. It's nailed, Randolph. If you look at what it says about futuristic, is number one. That is Randolph. People exceptionally talented in the futuristic theme are inspired by the future and what could be. That is true. They energize others with visions of the future. I think it's, it's, it's nailed, Randolph. I was like, what, what does that mean? It means it nailed, right? It yeah, nailed. but Ullman as well, right? You, you falsify the results of this for a job. Two things. One, you don't really know what they're exactly looking for. So you're, you yeah, might yeah, just yeah. be guessing. So you don't know. So then it serves your best to answer it truthfully. But you secondarily, can, why would you want to lie and then end up working at a job you're not suit, fit to work in? You can game it, why for sure. You're, you're, you're applying for the job in the first place. So if you're getting to the point where you have to take a test, you're already willing to do that. Well, you, the thing is, you're too smart for the application, so you would you would <laughs> get you would get hired <laughs> by a snake in this little test. But um, yeah, hopefully you try and be honest as honestly as you possibly can. Do you think? Oh, I was going to use that picture. Do you think that any of those are like wildly wrong? Like futuristic, well, yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I think ideation as well. D yeah, good app. Two, I like you put that two. Yeah, three maximizer. What, what does maximizer mean? Can you pull that thing up again? Four was command, five was activator, six was communication. But I think I think with someone, say if I'm working with someone, I would be that kind of person. I wouldn't be like, oh, I'll keep working for this like analytical reason or whatever. Like keep going, man. Like you know, put your energy into it or you know, you know what I'm saying? Like I'd, like I'd rather say work on your positives rather than work on your negative stuff. Yeah. Which one? Um. So maximizer number three. Oh, sorry. No, maximize was my there. number three. So people exceptionally talented in the maximizer theme focus on strengths as a way to stimulate personal and group excellence. They seek to transform something strong into something superb. Yeah, which is I would say that's true. So say if you're like, say, say John is like, oh man, like you know, I'm I've been working like filming some like YouTubers and stuff. It's going really well, but I'd rather, you know, work on my editing skills. I'd be like, nah, you'd like double down on your filming. You know, go like fully focus on what you are good at rather than what you're shit at. So I, I, wait, how do you do that? I don't know. You got ideation too. Oh. Yeah, but that's where an activator would come in, right? The activator would figure out how to... Activator, people who are exceptional can make things happen by turning thoughts into action. They want to do things now rather than simply talk about them. That's my fifth as well. See, I would say that's got to be high for me. Yeah. I fucking yeah. hate. Just do the test, man. Yeah. Do the test, yeah. See what next time. I've used this a long time. You know <laughs> what? You know what? It was way quicker than I thought. Really? But also in... Like waiting for a plane, so I had nothing to do. But I, honestly, I was like, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't that hard. Most questions are kind of obvious. Maybe I'll do it for a second channel video. Yeah, come yeah. on. Easy yeah. second channel video. Yeah, and then like, recoup your 60 quid and more. Yeah, exactly. And, and then take Randolph and compare it from him. Mug him off. Yeah, we'll do a podcast. We'll, maybe we'll go into it in detail. Okay. So we'll, we'll go like this. We'll go, mine's a three. What's yours? <laughs> Top trumps. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see, see one ready and a pertinent one, though. 32 discipline. I know. And I have awful discipline. And That's I have true. awful, awful That's consistency. True. I have awful responsibility. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, 28 as focus is, is a funny one. Bro, I, it's not <laughs> wrong, you know. Harmony, 29. What does that mean? Singing. No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah, I can see harmony. Working in a group. I fucking hate that. 31, deliberative. As in you sit on a decision for ages. Yes. Bro, Chris from DS to do video. It took me four days to say no. But you'd four already days. made the decision, right? In my soul. But maybe it's still... But... I feel like that one counteracts something else. Activator, with the other one. Yeah. yeah, activator. Oh, you think that's that was high? Well, activator is like um, they want things to happen, so they just do it rather than talk about them. Well, that's, I'm saying. Whereas deliberative is like you don't take time, you take too long to think of stuff. And in a, is that what yeah, is that what in in a, I guess I'd say that for me personally, I don't really know anything about this uh, much. Not deliberative is not taking too long. It's deliberative is that you take care in what you choose, so you think about all the obstacles. And then make the decision. Oh, so maybe I would do it straight away if it's the wrong thing to do. I've done that before. I've like started a project and I'm like, this is de definitely sick. And I get like two weeks into it. And I'm like, so surely they have this? to be the opposite then? Because activator is like, I want I want this to happen now. Deliberative is like, I want to think of all the options. 
Yeah, so Randolph, so they're the opposite. Will, Randolph will do things very quickly, but then other things he'll think too much about. So when it comes to decisions, he'll think too long. But when it comes to just doing something, he'll just do not do mean it's the right decision. <laughs> While a lot of good can be derived from these quizzes, they have been accused before of being often like horoscopes. More and more well-invested horoscopes, because eventually like, you start deriving what you want. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we just flip-flopped on the meaning of deliberative, and it both applied to Randolph. That was you, could, you, could, you could spin anything, right? Yeah. I, I just also um, just did it, because Kyle's put it in the chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you're at an airport. I want, uh, yeah, I want to see <laughs> what boxes I had. <laughs> I mean, again, the general undercurrent, though, is no, from us knowing Randolph, we can see, though. Oh, Certain bits. Uh, yes. Uh, Some of them are, yeah. 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 I would say I have more empathy than 24. I was literally just looking at that one saying, I think you're more empathetic than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But again, I might not be. Might. It's be a cold-hearted killer. Yeah, it could be a liar. Yeah, yeah, there, should be, there should be a liar in here. There should be. Yeah. There should be like these are all good. These are all good there's, things. There should right? be a whole one that's yeah. bad things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'd love like that. Malicious man. intent. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love that. Although that would really like whatever number one is. Oh, it upset me. Yeah. You're just a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yours could literally just be liar one, yeah. and th and then mine could be like hateful one. Yeah. And it's just like, well, none of them are good. No. <laughs> but I, I would pay money to do that though. I would do. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for watching today, guys. Oh. oh I I assume we're at the end. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, we're done. Okay. I, I saw not gonna lie. I saw the logic at the top. Forgetting we did two today, and I saw three hours and five. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> it's Joe Rogan up in here. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. As we said at the start, subscribe if you're still here. And mm. um, we'll catch you next week, hopefully with a guest. Peace, peace, peace. peace.